Hello <laughs> and welcome to a rather spooky uh, session of Roll the Bones. Thank you very much for joining us if you are watching live or after the fact. Um, this is definitely going to be a Halloween-centric show where I definitely haven't quickly reskinned all the monsters to be even scarier and repurposed all of my already established prep to make it seem a little bit more spooky. Um, with that said, I'm going to utter the immortal words previously on Roll the Bones. <laughs> Mike's terrifying. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking awful, isn't it? It's awful! He is genuinely, horrifying. genuinely terrifying at this stage. I can't... So you know, I said initially it looks like he's going to hack the channel, but then he looks like he's going to eat you straight afterwards. Yeah. Ooh. Is that somebody's face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is um, just someone's face. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll so, start, then. We yeah, got the quarrel should, um, I'm flustered. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> after saving uh, Pog Willen, we continue to quarrel cry. Uh, and after... Oh, I can't remember. Erin um, and Pog Willem went their own way. We basically spent the night, uh, got slightly drunk, but then yeah, we awoke to sounds of uh, footsteps in the night. You certainly did. There were they were at it again. They were at it again. The furries were... Those bloody furries bloody seem furries. to have taken issue yeah. with us. Um, actually, no, it wasn't necessarily that they were strictly just taking issue with us. They were after the survivors, right? They were after survivors of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, we found that out later, didn't we? Um, but yeah, they tried to kill us again, and uh, once again, we uh, just wrecked their shit, I think, pretty much. Uh, a couple of highlights. Uh, Mouse went... Sorry, Weasel almost went through the door. Uh Ansel created a room of terror, which was <laughs> horrific. Uh, and Obsidian just. Yes, he did. It was horrible. Sapped the souls of I don't know how many. Most of them? I, I think almost all of them. Yeah. Yeah, Obsidian got a couple of lovely killing shots there just to ensure that that inn is now haunted by fairies forever. <laughs> Excellent. The worst kind of haunting. Mm. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Creepy as all hell. Yeah. Um, after we'd offed them, we, uh, I believe, rushed to ensure that Eren and Pogrillin were okay. Turns yeah. out they were. They it seemed like the, uh, the party just came for us. They didn't split and uh, separate. Mm. Um, and then... We did get one bit of information. Oh, shit, yeah, because we captured one, didn't we? That was oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. They're based at The Scar. The sky, yes, Father Wolf. indeed. Father Wolf is at the scar. Father Wolf. Um, they Brilliant. commune at the scar, and he sings to the moons. That's right. Their meeting place is the scar. Yeah, and... cliffs, it, yeah. crag, place of nature worship. I've got so um, it's a place of worship to Alona, the goddess Alona. Um. I've also got the Valley of the Prophet. Yeah. Um, so is that where we thought that the scar it's in was... the Valley of the Prophet? No, no, it's Prophet. not. So Fuck the Valley, it. the you, oh, no, you found a map. <laughs> you found a map. No, you know, you got it mostly right. You found a map with the the scar as one of the locations, uh, and that is a meeting place of Savage Doom. Uh, you suspect they're sort of, yeah, like you say, somewhere they meet. Um, but also marked on that map was the Valley of the Prophets. Uh, and for what reason, you do not know. But, um, yeah. A.K.A. the Valley of the Heretic. Used to be the Valley of the Heretic, correct. Yeah. Interesting. Um, oh, um, one off-topic thing. Uh, mm. Silaster did not see somebody on the rooftops that night. He failed his perception, his spot check. Um, That's right, yeah. Uh, 
passing words with the elder the next day. Basically, he uh, told us about uh, a bounty for the uh, the sea snakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I get the pronunciation right, Veratis? Veratis, yes. Veratis, sea snakes leader. Um, yes. And basically said, uh, they'll be fine for the moment, but you know, when they get to Bright Harbor, we need to try and send help their way to, yeah. you know, mm, yes. give them a hand. And we uh, thought... This was Drummond, right, we were talking to? Yeah, that was the Elderman. Yes. The Elderman of Quarrel. The Elderman. Play. Turned out he's um, Eren's father, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we decided to uh, make a bit of a racket as we left so that um, anyone would think that all of the survivors or perhaps the easiest to find survivors would be us heading towards the uh, the sea snakes we um, just happened to be on our way yeah they just happened to be on the way we're just yeah, making we're a minor just detour way. it's nothing to do with the fact that we want the bounty and the money and the glory it's nothing to yeah, do no, with that. It's <coughs> the just, just convenient <laughs> it's just convenient it's on the way but, oh boy was that a what was that that started off well it did well, actually uh, really well and then boy. i actually think that silaster d- did an amazing uh an amazing job through a lot of the fight actually but at the very beginning of the fight in particular because he just silently went in there and took out the turret and it was like wow he threw a couple of people off a bridge if i remember yeah correctly. i mean he was on it like a bonnet um and yeah, so we we sort of moved in on their base. We found their base with some searching uh, along the shoreline, crossed the sort of bridge, and a fight went down. It was a it was a great fight, actually. Yeah, that was really good. We mm. um, it wasn't easy. We were overcome uh, quite quickly by quite a few of them, but we we coped and we did good and we took down all of those that were outside um, at least, but we did see that it went deeper into the cliffside after we took them all out. Um, Shout out to the kobold. Oh, the the zombie, yeah, the zombie kobold. Zombie kobold, I thought, you know, not a thing I was going to summon, not that useful because they can't do very much on the ground, but when they don't need to move and they're just shooting, nice little Mm -hmm. turret. And um, resisted anything the other <laughs> archer could do to it because, yeah. yeah, damage reduction, great. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a good fight. Lots of uh, lots of cursing and weakening and sapping and Silasta just coming in and again, just uh, taking taking mofos out. It, it did good. go well at the end. Yeah, it almost turned against us, but we managed to hold the uh, hold the line and. Obsidian stole some more souls as well. Uh, Obsidian he? got down to one hit point, actually. Did he? One hit point. But it was that was that was weighing my options because I knew I was gonna get surrounded. I kind of wanted to be surrounded so that I could do the burst and kill a bunch at once. And it worked, but it worked with one hit point remaining. So. That for me was the primary point of tension. The whole battle was one. I suddenly realized how the turns had like played out, that Obsidian mm. had moved closer to the ones who had spent most of the combat approaching your position so that when it got to them there was three of them lined up and the only people that the only target they could attack was obsidian so three yeah. of them went for you and then you but just that was demolished the point. I them oh it was so to good around me with it the burst so and i sort of had to weigh up whether i thought they would and i you know i i had to rely on my tiny amount of damage reduction and it was it was it came out of the wire, but it was good. Yes, there was also mm. that range war with the guy on the tower, which was hilarious. I know you mentioned about the kobold before, but uh, yeah. that was very funny. Uh, was yeah. Funny. So the battle was yours. You took the um, the cove, as it were, but there was still a, a cave that yawns in the background of this place. It is. Uh, it's something that can't be ignored, and that is where we're going to rejoin the company. Uh, we return to the Barbed Bay. And the Barbed Bay. The Barbed, the barbed Bay. 
It's the Barbie. Barbie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Barbie. Throwing knife kill at the end. You did get a throwing knife kill, which sadly is sunk deep into the uh, into the waters, but you'll feel free That's to recover it if fine. you like. Um, <laughs> uh, if you think you can. If you think you can. So, yes, the... Um, the cove, yeah, appears to have been cleared, uh, but um, over here, is an entryway, yeah. it yawns into the darkness. Is it looking uh, creepier this week than it did last week? Oh, I'm so end? sorry, yes, there is a howling, <laughs> of whispering wind that echoes from it. You must not come any closer. This is so terrifying. <laughs> Just waiting Excellent. for a, like a, a heavy mist to roll in. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> it's a sea mist. Crap. <laughs> it's definitely a PG-12 to 15 in here. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, well... I mean, I think I think we should make our way out of the back. Uh, I'm feeling better than I did a few moments ago, chaps. Oh How yeah, about you? We, Are you feeling do we, good? Do we fully heal on a? Uh, All right. Up, so we... I'm gonna say we'll keep our house rule of you getting your health back at a level up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, other all abilities that you've spent and all spells you spent will still require a rest. Um, to to regain. Um, I will yeah, point uh, out. Yes, I have just looked. I say just. Look, I looked uh, this morning. Uh, martial classes, sword sage, do not actually need a good night's rest. They just need five minutes of exercise. And because of my feet, I don't have to take five minutes of exercise. I can just take a full round action. So I'm going to take a full round action to get my maneuvers back. Oh, uh, very lucky, cool. Lucky. Fair play. I feel like I've learned something about necromancy. Uh, given, <laughs> given how, yeah, successful my kobold friend over there, my kobold zombie friend over there was. Um, I, sh I should say, really, because it was in the heat of combat, so I didn't really have enough time. Uh, the kobold zombie, I think, is uh, wearing um, like a white, um, f beautiful little girl's um, funeral gown and has like full makeup on and is beautiful. It's very pretty. Okay. So it looks almost uh, pristine. Number of questions. Is the uh, kobold zombie, you've just got described it, so I'm assuming it's still with us at the moment? Uh, I mean, that you, I've described it. It will stay with us for the, the last few seconds of this and then it will vanish. <laughs> oh, okay, I just wanted right. to make that clear that that's, you know, but I'd summoned that and it looked beautiful. Um, so, but like, I feel like I've learned something about necromancy, but yeah. I'm going to need to sleep in order to actually use it. As you <laughs> sur are surrounded by fallen enemies, give us a quick little insight into what triggers this revelation of Obsidian that you have to sleep on. What is it? Um, hmm. <sighs> I mean, I think that he's just, uh, like, he's taken out a bunch of them, like, and he's made a, a fair few ghosts out of this, like, whether they manifest in the future, whether they become poltergeists, or they just haunt the place, I don't know, but, like, there's a certain sort of energy in the air that he's been around a little bit with all of these that he's taken down, and it's just sort of, it's just buzzing in him, and he's just like, I just feel like I can do more, I can do more than I have been. Um so yeah I think I think he knows of all of the spells that he can do in the future that 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 are available it's just some of them are way beyond him but he feels just like a bit bolstered like maybe I can attempt some of these more powerful spells very cool okay so definitely uh... some more interesting skeletons are coming up <laughs> oh okay fancy address <laughs> even then <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah oh yeah a... ball gown. <laughs> there is a howling call from the cave come closer 
Well, when I hear a spooky, thre- a, 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 a spooky threatening voice, I know I want to know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, with me, always with me, going team. To follow that sort of thing in case there's a uh, kindred spirit. Mm. Mm. You're coming, oh, Silaster. Good. Oh, I was hood back up. <laughs> Are you shocked, face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. That's the worst. Please <laughs> stop it, you, you creep. Jesus, dude. <laughs> I did have slight <laughs> Ansel vibes, actually, when I picked it up. But... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely uh, something unsilly about that. Right, you uh, you make your way over this uh, rickety bridge. Uh, the waves of the cove sort of lap at this. Uh... Why isn't my? Hang on, sorry. For some reason, my screen isn't letting me go that way. Oh my goodness, what is happening with this? this yeah, you can give me a marching order just whilst I try and wrangle this uh, screen into uh, cooperating. There we well, go, see something fix mean, itself. Silaster, I sort of feel like you're the... Uh, you're the forward, forward party. Yeah. yeah, as you oh, sort of delve inside, you see that the cave narrows drastically uh drips of uh, salt water fall from stalag tights hold on tight because they're on the ceiling um well explained it, yeah <laughs> uh drip 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 into rock pools that uh that cover the cover the floor it's uneven terrain oh i don't know in a cave i need to do it Ah, very good. It was a good one. That was a good one. Very good. Came through loud and clear. Excellent. (laughs) Yeah, so... um, I'm going second. Yep, you can go in. So, uh, Silaster, you make your way in then. uh, And you continue approaching. Nothing seems to bother you as you make your way down this narrow walkway. Um, I'm gonna drop into my hunter's sense stance mm, okay. just to get some scent, just in case there's anything I can pick up on route. Okay, by all means. So that just means that you get like a heightened sense of smell, yeah. I gain scent. <clears throat> yeah, you, uh, yeah, you smell um, that this has been a busy thoroughfare. You can smell that. Um, you can smell like the salt water and sort of like the the smell of the sea, the sea breeze. You can smell the moisture upon the cave walls. You have the distinct smell of fear as well. Yeah. Everyone perform a listen check for me, please. When uh, Silesta sniffs the air, is it like uh, Wolverine in X-Men? Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's 15. Oh, God. Oh, 22 from the uh, creepy. The glasses make it worse, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> to see. I need them to see. <laughs> That's a... You should have incorporated them into your costume better then, shouldn't you? I should yeah, have done. Um... You should have just sellotaped them to the front. <laughs> <laughs> right, Cut so. Out. Listen check, sorry. So that was 15 from Obsidian. Is that yeah, right? 22 from Ansel. 22 from Ansel. 17 from Silaster. Uh, well, Ansel, mm-hmm. you're the first one to pick it up, so we'll go with you. Um, you can uh, hear it. Hear... Let me see. You can hear at least two hushed voices. One of them is saying something along the lines of, Do you think they'll. 
Do you think they're coming this way? Do you think they've gone? I don't know. Just keep your eyes on that door. There is a uh, small group of scared individuals up ahead. Hmm. All worried. Now we're in the air. I mean, we. Uh, are they waiting? It sounds like. You think they're waiting to ambush us? They know we're coming. It sounds like it. They're, they mentioned a door. Hmm. Do we want to just go for it? Rush them. Let's rush them. Um. Is that our strength, Russian? <laughs> just run in. <laughs> ah! Screaming. <laughs> uh, so that's all just turn around and do this. Uh, and then I'm going to do a move silently check to move to the door. Please do, yeah. Ansel just uh, silently copies him. Yeah, make move silently checks if you wish. I mean... Oh no, I'm staying still. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm lingering at the back so that we don't get anything coming up behind us. Good idea. Pew pew. Yeah, twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah. So as um, <clears throat> as rightly detected from that overheard conversation, you could hear these mu this muffled conversation from behind um, a door that seems to have been lashed together with uh, old rigging and um, bits of. Um, drifting wreckage has sort of just been stacked really kind of untidily into a, a, a door with a simple hinge on it um yeah you can definitely hear that there's like i say definitely more than one person there's obviously a conversation that's happening beyond the door uh definitely echoing definitely indicates to you that there's obviously a continuation to this cave it's not going to come out the other side somewhere yeah um, can we move down to the corner? Move? You can move down to the corner if you want. Do you want me to? If yeah, yeah I'll move silently. If I, I want to move quietly down to the corner. Yeah, you can make a move silently check for me. Um, but obviously not going around it. Just yeah, that's fine. I can peek. That's fine. Uh, that's not really quite at all, but uh... I will do the same. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's my move silently? Oh no, okay. Yeah. There's just that squeaking leather. Did you hear that? <laughs> A voice says, No? I swear there's something outside that door. They haven't gone. Why would they go? Uh, can I see right through, like if there's any gap in the door, does it look like through any crack in the door that it looks like there's a bolt like it's locked or anything or is that completely yeah um you'll you'll probably be able to just tell by just like by looking at it that there is no bolt on this door um it's literally just swing open and and, uh, and shut um there, um, there, 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 there are minuscule cracks in the door but it's it it, it doesn't look particularly light beyond and also yeah, they're not very big cracks anyway to make out much. You can definitely see the shapes of people not far from the door, though. I will, to Ansel, uh, since he's right next to me, mm. saying, um, they already yes? sound. They already sound. <laughs> they already <laughs> They already sound, stage whisper. They already sound quite scared. Maybe I could do, like, an intimidate... I could try and scare the shit out of them before we go into the room so that they almost, like, lay their weapons down, you know what I mean? Since I think they probably... Sounds know ideal. If, if it can work. Can you I be will, scary enough? I mean, I'll give it a go. I'll give it... I certainly can try. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll graze past you, just in the front. Sure. Uh... Hang on, I'll do the intimidate first. Otherwise, I won't know what I'm going to say. I'll turn around to and quickly just say, when you've done this, I can get open this door without any of us seeing. If you go back around that corner, we can get 
sight on them. Yeah. And they okay. won't see open the door. So I'll try and freak them out first. Um. Ah, 19. Intimidate. That's actually not so bad. Okay. Uh... <laughs> so you're going up to the door, sorry, just to reiterate. And yeah, 19 is really good. I will oppose that. Do you want to say what roughly, well, tell me what you say? Yeah, I mean, so basically, uh, in, in my most sort of creepy voice, I just want to sort of <laughs> lean right into the door and just say, we have claimed the souls of your friends outside and now we've come for yours. They're outside! They're outside! You hear, like, an eruption of movement. Um, I will hear turn around then. Some people, <laughs> as if they're moving towards the door, and footsteps as if they're moving away from the door. <laughs> you have um, these few last few moments to explain what you're doing before I say the words. I'm going to say to Obsidian, hide. I'm then going to use my... Um, uh, I was going to say chart. Cloak of Deception to turn invisible, open the door, and then just charge in there. So then they look, open the door, and they see no one there. Okay. Ah, okay. See, so, yeah, see. very good. Uh, so in that case, then, you vanish with yeah. your with whatever power it is you bear. Could you move back one square? Sorry, Michael, I just can't select the door. I've used one of those <laughs> dumb, <laughs> chunky doors again. <laughs> I understand. A bloody chunker. It is a chunker. Oh no. That was close. I nearly moved the whole map. Uh, this is a good question. Why can't I select that door? <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Can you see a door in front was of it, you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was it already on the... Ah, no, there? it's an object. That's why it was on the wrong thing. Ah. Kind of make lighting. <laughs> or fog of war. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So you burst open the door, and I will see if I can delete a section of dynamic lighting. Ah, that's why. Of course, I forget that they have it, so it has its own uh, section. Oh, God, so Mike, lame. your face. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. All I can see is, like, the teeth and no lip. It's Perfect. horrifying. It is actually horrifying, <laughs> Mike. It's the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> oh my god so uh, it appears to be attached <laughs> to the whole thing oh that's so annoying oh I'm so sorry don't be it's I fine we've, all, we've, all, we've had these troubles dynamic lighting I swear yeah, that's I think revealed everything. We're not, it I has, think it but... has revealed everything, but I'm so zoomed in that it's not really revealed anything but that room. Okay. All I can see is the very bottom. I don't know um, really what to do about that. Um, other than fog of war, fogging a war. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just quickly, everyone, look away from your screens. I well, I'm, all I can see is the room that we've now opened I can so, because I'm really zoomed in so it makes no difference to me I'm really not I don't I don't want to see what the head that would spoil it and viewers don't look yeah uh, standard fog of war I guess uh, save mm -hmm. oh oh no dark? has it gone dark it's gone dark everywhere's okay. dark yeah. good good you're fighting in the dark well for initiative yes yes <laughs> Right, so let's quickly amend that then. So I've gone blind. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm blind. I can see again. 
Yeah. Hey, ah. there, we go. there we go. There we go. Right. So, uh, you fling the door open, Silasta, and um, oh, this could be awkward for you. Before you, rather obviously, a like a wooden barricade is there. Um, your mind goes back to when you heard that this was once um, like a military. Uh, enclosed position at one point so you imagine this would be a really good place to defend if you had to fall back from your coastal defences into the caves um, but the two that are hiding behind the barricades are sort of peering frantically behind uh, from behind the barricades to, to spot you but they cannot did that just open on its own? One of them says. I don't know. Um, there must be something there. As soon as I open the door, I want to do a move silently movement. But there okay. will be a jump in there as well. So. <laughs> okay. You'll, you'll see. So move silently. Yeah. 20. Okay, I'll do a pose listen check to see if anyone hears you moving. They appear to be too busy arguing amongst themselves. You go and look. No, you go and look. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, I run. I do a jump. Now, I'm only wanting to jump over this. Yep. So, I think the DC for a standard running jump is five plus the distance. So, I guess with the height included, maybe 15 or so less. jump over the over the barricade. Uh, so yeah. that bit in the middle is about just under six feet. So so five feet distance, five feet height, plus five, so fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Please I jump. <laughs> it's the same. Just dive straight into it. Ah. Oh. That would have been hilarious, but... <laughs> Thankfully you don't just smash into it. You actually leap over it. What is it like as you leap over it? What do you do to manage this? Oh, uh, he runs. Very light of foot at this point. Uh, very ghast of face. <laughs> ghast of face. <laughs> just like that. Um, <laughs> and then... As he gets close, I kind of get my hands, I do a bit of a flip, get myself over it, and then I roll off at the end just to mitigate the noise. Um, would you count opening the door as a standard action? I would say that's a turn, what you've just done there. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Quite easily. <laughs> um, and... I'm hoping the others will stand by to... I think now we're going to, even though, well... You're not in combat yet, so I guess it's no point in rolling initiative just yet. But they're they're obviously freaked about something. Like, did you hear that? No. Go and investigate. Uh, one of them is going to very carefully begin opening the barricade. Um. To see. So he shoves it into the corner. Five, ten. And just waits in the opening of the cave. Show yourself! His voice echoes into the darkness. Show yourself, show yourself, show yourself. Um, Ansel's just going to turn to Obsidian. Like... <laughs> Can I. Uh, I'd like to. Summon a skeleton right in front of him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, bear with. So, so like a single skeleton. Square, just a single, uh, a single skeleton. Um, it's still because you know I'm trying to make this one a bit more intimidating. Still, definitely a gentleman. Still, definitely a dandy. It's just that all of his fine suit and top hat are a bit kind of messed up and dusty looking and really raggedy and it just appears with like slot like like although it's got skeleton eyes where it just just black holes there's like a pinprick of light in each one as it just stares into him with the magic so it will just rise up in front of him 
you should have control. Is that positioning fine? Right it's in front of control. you. Yeah, basically I was going to summon it there and just have it lurch towards him and just go in for a strike, which obviously it is attacking him and not in a surprising way, so... This is the great finished. thing about having someone with your abilities in the party. Every day is a spooky day. Roll initiative! <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> oh, come on. Huck. <laughs> ah, wow. ah, no way! All of us. Oh my ah. gosh. Well. So between all of us, I go first. Yep. Then Obsidian, then Ansel. Okay. Yeah. Which well, is, that's... I mean, fitting that they probably go before we do. <laughs> that's really annoying. Ah, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's sad for them because they are going to act before they've even seen us. Yeah. Right. I need to be able to see this. So for this, <laughs> I think it's even just scary without the hood. Here we go. Uh, right, I'm so sorry. Could you just read out your initiatives to me? Well, we all got eight. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Which <laughs> means it's Silasta, then Obsidian, then Ansel. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know so, nothing's uh, going to go in between our turns, at least. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, dear. So I may have rolled an eight. Yeah, if they rolled an eight and their modifier is like four, four or, three, or three, then yeah. grand. Pretty pretty precise though. Okay. Have the actual stats up for my skelly. Sorry, I'm just making sure they're all numbered because I forgot to do that. So, like, like I say, you could spend a hundred years. Prepping a session, and there's always something. Always, always something. Always something. There we are. Thankfully, just a small something. So, as I bring up the correct screen. So, um, as the skeleton erupts in front of this first sea snake, this sea snake low life, uh, he gives out a frightened yell, Aah! and he swings uh, a cutlass his way. Oh, of course it's a cutlass. Uh, and that is... AC 15. A hit. Probably, well, we'll see. We will see. Ooh, seven points of slashing damage to the skeleton. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's more no, panic than not skill. He just all. draws the cutlass quickly and sparks fly as it half hits the cave, half hits the skeleton. And goes mostly through the ribs, but definitely takes a little bit of bone out. And does it some damage. Ooh, you chunked him. Does two points of damage. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> we are cursed! We are cursed! Another one yells uh, and rushes uh, to the doorway. Oh, has he moved back one? No, he's a different... Oh, it's done that thing again. On the stream, it's different. Inaccurate. There we go. Uh, so he is going to rush around the barricade to there, and he will also help his friend. AC, sorry, the skeleton? 15. How does the skeleton defend itself, or what is it like when it just does nothing? I don't think the skeleton even like moves all that much. I think that he tries to slice it and just goes in between bones, and the skeleton just keeps staring. It doesn't need to defend itself. Oh my goodness. Uh, this one uh, freaks out, and he yells, I'm going to open the baskets! I'm going to open the baskets! Can do what now? <laughs> he rushes <laughs> to the back of the cave, and uh, one of them shouts, "No, no, don't, don't!" But it's too oh late. God. He pulls They're releasing the kraken. <laughs> a lever, and two 
baskets, clearly cages for creatures from another distant shore. Creatures pull themselves out of the gloom. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! Love it. The man who does this immediately regrets his mistake. <laughs> that is his turn. Um, Silaster. Hmm. It's a, he's literally. Well, firstly, I pop out of invisibility. I just appear. Zoom. Um, I'm still moving though as I come out, essentially. So uh, yeah. I drop into my child of shadow stance as shadow covers my body. Okay. Uh, and then. I can I Oh sod it, we'll just do a charge. There we go. Uh I run in and I just do a big leaping attack. Uh <laughs> Okay. So that is plus two because it's a charge. Twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four hits. He is like bringing his crossbow around, and you slam into him. Do you damage? It's, I, there's a slight jump in the air. There's a fist. It comes crushing down. For Superman eight punch. Superman. Is that eight points of damage? Yes, eight. Sorry. Yep, so you slam into the guy. How'd you kill him? Oh! Uh, it is... Like, Yeah, perfect. as I said, I was running. <laughs> uh, he dropped out of invisibility, still running. Sees him in front of him, speeds up into a charge. And as he gets close enough, just jumps into the air. As you said, Ansel, the Superman punch. And the fist... <laughs> Uh, you guys wouldn't have seen this because you're still around the corner, but the skeleton would notice. Uh, it looks like, for some reason, since the previous encounter, his the muscles in his arms look somewhat stronger. My base <laughs> damage with unarmed damage has gone up. Oh, so, good to know. Um, just a crushing blow that goes into the face. Not, not nothing messy, but you can see it definitely breaks enough to uh, cause him to drop. And as he drops, like as I said, he was pu pulling that crossbow around. So as you smash him and he dies, uh, the bolt of the crossbow like fires, bounces into the cave wall and clatters into the ground. Amazing. Obsidian, it's your turn. Well, Obsidian will immediately summon another skeleton just here. The good old... <laughs> copy and paste. <laughs> the pincer movement. Yeah, the copy and paste. Uh, no, mm. totally different skeleton model, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I the thing is, though, is skeletons do look the same. No, in reality, though, his skeletons are, when he summons more than one, they kind of are an actual reskin. <laughs> it's just a twin. They're the same, the just one. in different colours. Yeah, like, this one just has a slightly different coloured kind of undershirt on. <laughs> with right. its, with he's its flipped, dandy so suit. he's round the other way. Uh, directly behind them, did you say? There you go. Yeah, literally right there. So uh, the guy looks around terrified as a, a skeleton erupts behind him. And then both skellies will just try and attack. With their flanking bonus. <laughs> Which I adore. Uh, right, so... Uh, the one in front of him... Swings at him. <laughs> oh, another eight! Come on! <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, Does not hit their armor class, unfortunately. completely... I, I reckon it just goes like that and just like it's threatening, but it's not, you know. <laughs> and then the second skeleton, I'm just realized I haven't actually got their stats up, and I don't really need them because I remember, but. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah. Is well... that with the plus two for flanking? Yeah, yeah, they're only on plus one. I've added it, so it's a uh, plus three. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a five and a seven. Somehow these two low life pirates. Well, 
are like very lucky and they sort of like back to back sort of like trying to like face off swinging wildly at the, the advancing undead on either side of them they realize they're in trouble anything else on your turn obsidian no that is me ansel um so ansel is gonna step round the corner and he's going to reach out can i see this guy uh you can see half of him uh, i'll just hit the one directly in front and then i'll reach out with a uh Blast. Okay. He just blasted hits. straight through the skelly. They're immune to being sickened. That's a, a, an easy hit on the touch armor class. Um, 18. Yeah, it slams into him. Um, so he takes uh, one damage. Mighty one. And he needs to uh, yeah do a fortitude save against being sickened. DC 15 fortitude. <laughs> uh, he is sickened. Twice. He's at minus two to attack, save checks and damage. I'm so curious what you've done with your level up, Ansel. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> no. I'm never no, going to tell you. Eventually. You'll have to guess. <laughs> um, that was amazing. What does it look like, Ansel, as you just emerge around the corner, then this happens? Um, so it's like the um, the shadow is dark against the wall making a massive sort of yeah like the shadow of a, a giant creature and then he emerges even more horrifying than the shadow itself <laughs> and almost almost just the the vision of him and the guy clutches his stomach and just vomits a bit of surprise vomit surprise sick uh covers him uh, he looks on terrified as then, yeah, he's, yeah he's endures this awful power that's hit him. We are back to the top of the round, and the one that's got struck um, is going to... Oh, God, I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest. I think he's just going to take a swing wildly for the one... The one that's just in front of him, I guess, like, it's like they're on both sides... And to be honest, his instinct is telling him, get out, get out, get out. Um, so 19 on the die. So that's pretty sure that's going to hit the skeleton. For five points of slashing damage. Oh, that's ah, a shame. That is a shame. Negated. Negated just goes in yeah. between the ribs again. And it gets caught in a rib and like it, it just bounces. Yeah, it, and just a bit of dust. Just a bit of dust. <laughs> Comes yeah, up. It just, it just clothes. He's just getting clothes. Uh, this one is going is going to just freak out, uh, and he is going to spend. It's half of his movement, so he's going to spend his turn uh, climbing onto that. It will provoke two attack of opportunities on the of the skeleton. I also realise he he's gone, so I will. Uh, right. I mean, yeah, they will. Um, they'll both. They get no flanking or anything on him, but they might as well take the attacks of opportunity. What? <laughs> I mean, and the other one, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we're at four and a five. Okay, the, the, I can see what this session's going to be. So he clambers <laughs> onto the top of this stockade, like he go ah, like he like cuts himself on like the sharp stakes that have been like, like chipped into this thing. But he is okay. He climbs to the top, but that will cost him his entire turn uh, to do that. So that's him done. The other guy is dead. Who's so dead? we are now on to Silasta. Sorry, I haven't marked him off, but the guy with the crossbow at the back of the room is dead. Oh. The spiders okay. spent their turn emerging, so they're going this round. But it's not their turn yet, Silasta. Ooh, seeing them here. Get poisoned. Uh, terrifying looking spiders uh, you can see that they're um, they're big um, reaching limbs are all manner of different colours but all slightly murky and intimidating okay right this is going to seem quite convoluted but I want to tumble away from both of them Okay, that's uh, DC 17. 17. Yep. Yes, sir. 
care. No. You roll away, one pincer goes after you, but you manage to get away from him. Um, reason being is I need to move more than ten feet to activate my Child of Shadows. So I back off, shift to the side, uh, and then kind of lunge back in to this one here. So it's a bit of a weird manoeuvre, keeping moving. But as I do that, uh, he's going to go in a new manoeuvre. It's a bit of an old reliable for uh, for Ansel. Okay. But for Solasta, it's a new one. He comes in just with the base of the fist, and you can almost hear him grunting slightly. It's kind of the <laughs> exertion this one's costing him. He's like, <sighs> doom, and delivers a mountain hammer. Yeah. Ah, just like old times. Mountain hammer. Very good. Okay, roll it up. Uh, so that is. Ah, oh, 16. 16 is a hit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you slam into the great spider. Um, It's, um, There's... yeah. So you may not remember, or you may remember, Mountain Hammer bypasses all damage reduction and hardness, if there mm -hmm. is any. It does, firstly, three points of damage. Nice. And, and... Seven extra points of damage as well, so ten in total. <laughs> you could almost see, um, if anyone were to look closely, you could see the actual skin on the back of the spider reverberates from the sheer force of the impact as it comes down. <laughs> as you slam it, it's like when you see spiders get smacked and, like, two of its legs just just get crushed off it as it staggers back like really it gives like a horrible screeching cry but manages just to pull itself back onto its six remaining legs and gives a vile hiss anything else on your turn Silasta? uh moved child of shadow that i'm good obsidian it's your turn um let's uh we'll have this Skeletons go first on this guy in the middle, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, the one in front of him. Still not particularly good. <laughs> nope, that's a, a miss. Like, he desperately brings up the cutlass in time. Ting! Parries the skeleton. Uh, is he. It's on their flat footed armor class, right, as well, when they're flanked. Unless they're no, it's just plus two to right? attack when you're flanking. Oh, they still have their dexterity. There was a thing that you. No. You get sneak attack if you have it, but... No. Oh, I finally got a decent roll. 18. Uh, and is that against the one in the middle as well? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that is uh, the first one, I believe. Yep, yeah, that is. Yeah, so that's a hit. You sli <laughs> The skeleton go. slices into his back. Uh, roll the, the damage. skelly behind him. Thank God I finally did some damage. It does five points of damage. Ah! He gives like a, a, a desperate howl as he gets like cut in the back. Um, barely stands, but it still stands. He does. Nice. In which case, then I think at this point, uh, Obsidian will show himself. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I can move to. Oh, I moved the skelly. All got a bit crossed over, so I can move to there. And then just one, then just a touch attack. Yeah, by all means, roll it up. Uh, this is now slightly improved. My touch attack, but it doesn't. It probably won't matter. <laughs> hey, eighteen on his touch. That is a hit on his touch. Roll it up. Um, do you know what? I think this has actually uh, gone up by a point. Uh, I will just double check. Uh, yeah, 1d8 plus 1 per full cast level. So now, oh. I do 1d8 plus 1. <laughs> he takes 9, max damage, negative max energy. Max a million damage. So, as I, yeah, million. As, uh, once again, so I've come in on the side, and actually, Obsidian is going to continue his movement past him in the next round. So as a sort of fluid motion, as he moves... He sort of grabs this guy from by the shoulder and just pulls the spirit 
like <laughs> out of him slightly and just pulls a bit of him away. Yes, seemingly you did not need me to tell you that you kill him. In fact, you do his full oh, I mean, over I his full a bit damage. Of his spirit out. Okay, no, you do over his full out. damage in one strike. <laughs> so <laughs> you just walk past and just rob his spirit from his body and yeah. he crumbles so to the ground. So it's actually around the throat then. So his hand just goes through and pulls his ghost out and just like, yep, yeah, you're going to haunt this room now. Noish. And the skellies both just turn dead-eyed and look at the guy next to them. Ah! He gives a scream, but it's not his <laughs> turn. It is Ansel's turn. Yeah, Ansel's going to move up. Eyes on that guy, and he's going to... Um, sickening blast him as well. All right. 13 on his touch. 13 on his touch is a hit. Hey, so he does. Receive six points of damage. Ooh. And he needs to uh, do a fortitude save, or um, he's going to do a little vomit as well. Uh, so, that is. Well, what is the DC? Uh, 15. That's a fail then. Uh, yeah, so he sees uh, the shadow sort of stalking up the hall as the skeletons are in front of him as this terrifying man in a mask has just ripped the soul from his friend and he just in fear his stomach just starts gurgling underneath and projectile vomits all over the <laughs> Do you want to know what's really terrifying and also really funny? What? He took two points of damage climbing the stockade. So as the sickening <gasps> blast hits him, he is violently ill and then misplaces a step. Part of the barricade snaps and he just hurtles down onto one of the wooden spikes. <laughs> like, oh, just comes God. out through his chest and that is the end of oh, him. Oh, wow. Literally. We've got to go yeah. for the gore. It's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was Ansel Senna, unless there's anything else you want to do. No, I'm not actually in range of anyone else, annoyingly. There we are. Yeah. So, we are on to the spiders that have emerged and now are free to attack. So this one is going to attempt to bite you, I'm afraid. Silaster, what is your armor uh, class? Miss chance first, let's do that. Public mischance, 20% on a D100. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let us do that on there. D100. It's a hit. Um, well, it might be. Class 18. Possibly a critical. <laughs> it's a hit, not a critical. Um, it bites into you uh, for uh, two points of piercing damage. Can you make a fortitude saving throw, please? DC 12. <gasps> oh, no. Do I have any... Damn it, it's dwarfs who have poison resistance. Uh... I should have oh, made him a dwarf. No, not this time, Michael. <laughs> it's your own fault. Stick with what you know. Don't always play dwarf. Stay in your lane. <laughs> you don't, but you should. <laughs> 20. It's a success. Uh, yeah, how do you resist? Like, you can feel some kind of um, foreign presence sort of trying to invade your nervous system for a moment. I think there's an element which, not to give too much away, but I, I suspect people are starting to catch on. He might have... Uh, as part of his practice and his training, had to ingest and resist some poisons. So I think there's an element of him just kind of being like, no, I'm used to this. I'm used to this. I oh, love poison. I love it. Oh. Are you going to say that you've developed a resistance to the poison over... Uh... Um, uh, no, I'm just using this as fluff. No, no, it's a Princess Bride thing. Never mind. Uh, oh. So yeah, it bites into you, uh, and then... And resistance to Iocane powder. Iocane powder, that's right. Um, the other spider lurches in. This one looks perfectly healthy and just leaps towards you in a single bound. Mischance. Mischance. Bollock. 
potentially gets to hit you on your armor class of 18. But how do you prevent this great spider the size of you trying to just seize you in its jaws? Oh, as the spider comes at me, the other one's already biting me, so I use the weight of that spider to be like, and I actually throw the spider in to intercept the other one, and then pop it down, and like, BAM! Uh, we're back to the top of the round, which is now Silaster. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a shame, really, that um, the guys at the front don't know the fate of their friend. They <laughs> were pincered by the skeleton, and then... Pity. Alas. Uh, that's... Uh, okay, that's what it will be. Um, Silaster looks at the one he's weakened before. Uh, and with a straight hand, with shadow moving through, he goes direct into the middle of the eye. But he jabs so quickly, it almost looks like he hits twice. So, I will roll 2d20 and I'll choose my result. I'm rolling with advantage. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I'll add onto it. Ooh. Risky. It is risky, because I don't remember what hit previously. I'm going to go with the lowest, and I think that is 17 to hit. Uh, sorry, that again, sorry? You hit the I'm choosing the lowest control. there, so that's 17 to hit. 17 does hit the spider, yes. Is that the one yeah. you've already hit you're going for? Sorry. Yes. It is. Basically, sorry, I because that. I chose the lower result, Yes. actually, I haven't just hit quickly, I've hit twice. Yes, gotcha, I remember. Yeah, and go for the it. shadow hits extra. Yes. So... And because this is a shadow hand manoeuvre, I do bonus damage. Okay. So it is. I get to add my wisdom. So it is nine points of damage plus one cold. So ten points of damage in total. How did you kill it in totality? Like, it is oh. a devastating kill. Uh, okay, let's go for Grim and Gore here. With such a precise yet quick blast, uh, basically I go through the head, but it's so quick and <laughs> hitting twice, his head basically explodes as my hand just jabs, keeps going through his head and it just like, explodes. Oh my god, this green viscous <sighs> remains just paint the wall behind it. Um, its, its legs remain in quiver and shake and then arc in on itself like that as it dies. Um, then, then that was the standard. <laughs> yes. And then, you're, I can move after a standard, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to tumble away for fifteen, which is fine. I actually tumble on fifteen. I don't think I can fail anymore. Very good. Yeah. So you dart away from the beast. So five in there, ten. 15, 20. 20. I'm going to here, so there's clean line of sight. Uh, it gives a long hiss as it watches you go, but that is your turn, Silaster. Obsidian, your skeletons have made uh, short work of the um, the low-life sea snakes. What do you do? Noish. Uh, I think they move... Yep, yeah, same as me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one comes level... With Silasta, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one will come to about there. And then Obsidian. I'll move to about there just so I can see it. We're all just advancing down the room, but that's all I can do, so that's my turn. Yeah, uh, the slow, steady advance of uh, the undead down the uh, the cave corridor. Very good. Ansel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ansel's going to enter the room, finally. <laughs> the space for him. And um, I'm going to attempt... I don't know if this will work. I'm going to attempt a sickening blast on the uh, remaining spider. Yeah, by all means, go for it. 14 on his touch. It gets ready as it sees it's, it coming, and it tries to go up part of the wall behind it. It tries to skitter back. You just hit its touch armor class. Amazing. Uh, it takes six points of damage. Bow. 
and it needs to do a DC 15 fortitude save, or be sickened if it's capable. That is a pass. It's fine, it feels a, a gurgling in its, uh, the pit of its stomach, but it's, uh, it resists. It ain't feeling particularly good after that blast, though. It doesn't look particularly happy to be here. Uh, that was Ansel's turn. That spider is no more, so it is now that spider's turn. And um, seeing that it has no other option but to push forward, it's going to try as it might to bring vengeance upon the one that brought ruin to its uh, compatriot. If spiders have compatriots, it um, probably <laughs> sibling skitters forward, tries to bite into you, Silaster. Still got a mischance? Oh, yes. Potential to hit. 18. Snaps just shy of your uh, of your defences. Uh, you managed to push away from it. Uh, that's its turn because it moved and struck. Back to the top of the round, Silaster. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to make a touch attack. Very well. Does 15 touch? It does. Excellent. Uh, we now, and I imagine the spider's going to get a bit of a bonus here, essentially do an opposed trip attempt. Yeah, it's got eight legs, so I'm going to give it one, even if it doesn't. <laughs> like, come on, let's be fair. Uh, yeah. yeah, it'll get a slight bonus because it's got eight legs. It won't be plus Wait. eight, though. No, that's no. <laughs> fine. Yeah, off you go. Opposed trip, then. Ah, oh, bollocks. 14. Oh dear. It beats out on a roll, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, Celasta was hoping to leverage the spider between the skeletons with a a kind of a, a lob throw. Oh, throw him over, right, gotcha. Get him into a flanking position for them. But, uh, oh, that's a shame. That's, that's uh, it. Instead, I will back away. Because with a one, I get 15 on my tumble. So I can do that. So I'm just going to go 5, 10... 15 and kind of encourage the spider to come through there. It definitely is encouraged as it snaps short of you and you try and grab hold of it but it manages to slide free from your grasp um, and push you away with its many legs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's Obsidian. Um, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just have both skellies attempt their attacks. Nope. 18. Oh. 18 is a hit. Yeah. So it gets hit once for max damage. Seven points of max damage. How does the skeleton kill... So my kill... damage rolls tonight have been good. How does the skeleton kill the remaining spider? Oh, amazing. I think that it basically, like, pins it to the floor. <laughs> And its legs like splay out to the sides, so it just literally <laughs> and just stabs straight through the center of its kind of body, and it just pins it to the floor, and then just <laughs> pulls the sword out. And with that, Love. the final strike is made, and uh, quiet now falls on the cave once again. The mask goes back on. <laughs> Doesn't need to see it anymore. Uh, yeah, the um, you look about the ruin of the uh, the the field of battle. Um, pretty uh, pretty impressive, pretty impressive indeed. So I last are vanishing into nothing. Causing them to break their position. And then that was all they wrote. How long are our uh, new friends here for? Not very long. <laughs> so we matter, should make haste. It is a matter of rounds. Uh, they will disappear any second now. Would you like to do a search check very quickly? Uh, that won't impact on the remaining life of your skeleton. Z well, yeah, let's give it a go. Nadine! 16. 
18. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Obsidian and Silaster, Ansel's probably a bit busy looking at all of the uh, the broken remains <laughs> of, uh, of those that dared <laughs> stand in your way. Uh, but Obsidian and Silaster, you work together to sort of like lever open some of the barrels around this place. You don't see an awful lot, like you find just like general supply and stuff here. This is sort of like you imagine where they would put their food and stuff to keep them keep them fed whilst they're held up here. But in the far barrel at the very end, uh, you discover there are three cure light wounds potions and a potion Ooh. of lesser restoration. Ooh. Okay. I have a potion of lesser restoration already. Um, I have six cure light wounds potions already. I have well, seven. Three. Yeah, seven. So Not including that one, so I've got three. And how many did we find? Three cure light three. wounds potions and. So then Silaster should just take all three, and then we're close to even on the amount we've got. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and if you've already got. That restoration's kind of an. It generally tends to be done out of combat anyway, and if it does need to be done in combat, it's who it needs to go to. And Silasta so moves so quickly, I feel like you should have both of them, because either you'll need it or you can get it to the person that needs it quickly. Silasta so is a little taken aback with the fact you're just kind of giving him these things. He's like, oh, God. Well, have the. Yeah, the cure light wounds, by all means, but then just hold on to the restoration potions for the party. as you are the most mobile. Uh, and then let's press on! The Celasta just takes a moment. Uh, it looks like he's doing a weird kind of flow with his arms, but it's, he just seems to be composing something. Okay. okay. It, again, I'm, I'm varying how I do my adaptive style. So I like it. I there's like kind it of a, almost a Tai Chi-esque movement here as he just kind of focuses and composes to get his maneuvers back. Very good. Okay, well. Yeah, you see beyond that there is sort of like a similar wooden door. It's been lashed together with uh, old, like half rotten rigging almost. Um, are you just approaching the door or are you moving towards it quietly? You are very aware that this made a significant noise. <laughs> this We've been quite loud anyway, so let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Let's just go, yeah. So this is a door. It's all spiky. Yeah, it is all spiky. It's like lashed together bits of wood. I mean, let's just open it. In fact, Skelly. <laughs> While it's here. The Skelly will open the door. And we will stand back. I will stand in some spider. Ew. You throw open the door and it's Slush. almost like you get like a waft of sea air almost as uh, as you throw open this door beyond you see a vast cavern um, in there stands five figures I only see three I see six that's odd Oh, sorry, yes, there are six. I, I miscounted. Yes, there are six. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, there they are. There they are, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't even... <laughs> it's uh, it's an unreliable narrator at its best. <laughs> There's all Change my mind, six. Change my mind, seven, ten. So, uh, yeah, for some reason that is uh, like that as well. So let's do that. There we go. Um, and uh, as you throw open the door, a voice calls to you from the gloom of this cave. Uh, it almost seems to be illuminated by great rock pools that are about ten feet deep that scatter across this this uh, this area. A voice calls to you. Ye shouldn't have gone to all the bother. If you managed to come all this way, it means... You've killed a lot of my men. A good leader is nothing if he don't recognize talent. Why don't you become part of my crew? 
There are quite a few vacancies, so I hear. I want to send my skeletons in and say, you best start believing in ghost stories. <laughs> You're, You're in one. one. <laughs> Barbo's um, Love it. I mean, I will actually send the skellies in, though, just to like... Oh, my skellies can't... Oh, is there... Are there... <laughs> so is the dynamic <laughs> like still there, I wonder? They That's... won't move. <laughs> Very frustrating. I can't go past the. the tr- I'm oh, trying to ram no. it with my skeleton. <laughs> Get out of the way! I can, no. but weirdly, I can move into the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. you should. Yeah, well, I've broke. I've, oh. I've, I've, yeah, well, just move, move around, <laughs> move around it. Just I move around. For some reason, I, I can't select it. I have no idea why all of the doors that I've set up for it have fused into the dynamic lighting itself. It's very frustrating, but we'll uh, we'll work on it. Work in progress. Um, Very strange. So as the skeleton sort of like shrudge <laughs> into the room, he goes, Ah, so the stories were true. Story. Think about it. We can raid the entirety of the West Coast together to our heart's content. <laughs> <laughs> we literally are hard. <laughs> Actually love it. What are they um, offering you, hey, to bring in my head? Do you know we didn't think to ask? <laughs> two thousand gold. <laughs> Was it two thousand? Two thousand gold pieces. Yes. Oh, they are offering us three thousand gold. <laughs> and he looks to his men, who are like, ready, slightly terrified at the the word that most of the crew is dead. Like, and then they look to each other, and they go, <laughs> "Only three gold, three thousand gold pieces. It's a trifling thing. I could give that out to my uh, my pocket right now. If you go can on, double man. it, we will leave you now with your lives." What about this? <laughs> Three thousand gold pieces. And everything you can find in these chests behind me. To turn a blind eye to old Varatis, eh? How much longer do your skeletons have, by the way, Obsidian, just so I know? Uh, well, I mean, it's in a matter of rounds. It's one round per level, so they they only had four rounds. They're gone. <laughs> so they were they were yeah. They'll pretty much crumble as we enter the room, I would imagine. Uh, which is fine. I That's can pretty cool that they just stomped in and then crumble into yeah. dust. That's pretty. And awesome. they just crumbled to dust. Yeah. Um, chaps, I have a I have a thought, and you might not like it, but. Uh, <clears throat> How's the items from the chests? One thousand gold, and you owe us a favor. Or oh, no favors. Depends what kind of favor you'll be asking, my lad. We will call upon you one day in the future to come to our aid. And you will heed our call, you and yours, and whatever ships you may possess. Now that's a mighty fine ask there, lad. Quite a steep price you're asking. And Mm. while I hear you might have killed all my men, might have taken quite a bit out of you. That would be a gamble on your part now, wouldn't it? Aye, but I'm a gambling man. (laughs) Takes a gambler to I'm make exhausted. a good pirate. <laughs> what do you think, boys? Uh, Celasta will put a hand on Obsidian's shoulder mm. and just say, the last time I went no on a contract. People died who shouldn't. We've agreed to this. We haven't signed anything, but we agreed. Mm. He dies today. But we are up against... Well, we've seen what we're up against, and I think having a a horde of pirates on our side might be helpful in the future. 
as a note, you uh, and to describe them because I haven't really given them a, dis- uh, a description. Veratis himself is very much the typical pirate captain. He's got like a log flowing coat. He has like a tricorn, um, uh, 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 sort of like a matted, disgusting kind of wig sewn into it, you imagine. Uh, long, filthy cuffs, lots of rings on his fingers. But he's surrounded by these individuals that you understand are probably the real sea snakes. Everyone you fought to at this point have been sort of like deckhands and stuff. These guys look like competent warriors. You note Mm. that uh, some of them have... What have we got? Like almost halberd, like a cross between a halberd and a trident also, almost like like a pitchfork, like, like they've got range with those weapons. They look fairly menacing. Hmm. How about the uh, good Captain Rattis comes with us and the five of you can leave with your lives? Mm, that's, a, that's a very different offer. <laughs> that is a very different offer. <laughs> I mean, I just thought the idea of having some pirates at our back at some point in the future might be helpful. Pirates but, don't uh, really have any honor, though, do they? They bear us no allegiance. Pirates have their own kind of honor, don't they? <laughs> honor amongst You've thieves. been watching Pirates of the Caribbean too much. The pirate code? Hey, there's a code. <laughs> it's more of a guideline. It's more of a guideline, <laughs> rather than actual rules. <laughs> um, I mean, ah, you know, impugn me honor, you, boy. If we, uh, if we want to just kill them, um, you know... I'll follow suit. I just thought that perhaps there was another way of playing it. But uh, our little group has no leader. We're in a democracy, after all. You really want to risk it? Cross blades with the sea snakes. Um, mm, down to you, boys. What do you want to do? Or this could be yours. Like... You just have to walk away. Oh, this um, could be ours anyway. <laughs> I'm going to look at Silaster and I want to get an idea of whether or not it feels like he is... Like, given what he's just said, is he ever likely to walk away from a contract like this? Um, Silaster, although he took the moment to put his hand on Obsidian Talking, hasn't disengaged looking... Uh, over in that corner. He's been staring there the whole time. If you were to really... There is... Under the hood, there is determination in his eyes. (sighs) Is he lawful stupid? (laughs) (laughs) He's going to turn to Obsidian and just say... uh, I think it's too late to back out. Unless you want to leave Silaster alone. (sighs) one of those people that's not willing to <laughs> he's already decided be smart fine as you will go ahead agree to this. step back and lean against the wall <laughs> is that your decision oh. then my lads I think the decision hasn't been made for me but uh I can't say I'm not excited to see what's about to happen I'm a little bit excited too. It's been a while since I had an interesting battle on my hands. And he draws a shiny cutlass. So be it then, boys. Have at ye! Roll initiative. And I you? think Love that it. will probably be a good time for us to take a little bit of a, a bit of a break. Um, and we will roll initiative and then we'll go into it. But uh, for those on the stream uh, watching live and for those who are watching after that, thank you ever so much for sticking with us. And we'll be back shortly. Oh, God. Oh, Mike, put it back on. <laughs>
beg your pardon. <laughs> and we are back. <laughs> but oddly enough, uh, I wasn't quite quick enough to unmute that, so that will just have to be a mystery. What was uttered from not Silaster, Michael's potty mouth. Gracious me. Unbelievable. I blame um, so I feel really wow. lucky that I was able because I would have to edit that out. That was just disgusting. All right. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. And with that, we Don't are rolling. You a... <laughs> dare. It lets people know what Mike is all about. <laughs> He's all about <laughs> damn idiots. Don't make me bring back the mic. <laughs> right, we roll initiative and we cue the music. <laughs> So, uh, basically, we begin, and uh, Varates, this uh, scurvy dog of a pirate, goes first. First, there's a swift action, boom, opens up a bottle, takes a long swig of rum. <laughs> as a swift a action. <laughs> and then... I thought he was taking a potion. Is it actually rum? <laughs> he reaches up what looks to be like a horn made of some kind of bone and oh. gives it a blow and it gives an odd wailing <laughs> cry. Uh, that is Varatis' turn. Uh, then two of his men go as well, but they hold his position. They know to stand uh, side by side with their captain, uh, as they would if he were at the, uh, the wheel of his vessel. Um, so now do they stand at his side now as well. So um, if I can select them, bloody hell, please. Yeah, so they will spend their turn just by... I think they will delay or hold an action, just in case, but there we are. Obsidian, it is your turn. Uh, right. I'm looking at spells and ranges. 20... So yes, it can reach him easily. Uh, I'm going to be aiming at the captain's touch armor class. Very well, matey. Take your best shot. <laughs> <sighs> no. The dice hate me. They hate me. Uh, I mean, I literally... Yeah, nothing happens. <laughs> you reach for and, and some fails power fails miserably as you uh, aim at Varates, the pirate. Anything else on your turn, Obsidian? No. Very good. We continue then. Silaster. Ooh. Well, I, I'm still in my stance, which is handy, so I will, as a swift action, uh, envelop my cloak of deception as I turn that's because I'm trying to pick on obsidian there I actually need my own token there we go uh, and then the sound of footsteps echo through the cavern so so you vanish into darkness and I double movement uh, to here but again they don't know I'm there so Happy to move if needs be. Very well. Um, that was Silas's turn. Ansel. Um, Ansel is going to fling a uh, sickening blast at the uh, closest pirate. Arr. Um, so this is on his. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, who are you aiming that at? Uh, the closest one, so this one here. Okay, yeah, so you send a blast at him, but uh, he just ducks beneath it as it flies over him. Um, um, I'm going yeah. to scoot over here as well. 
Okay. What is that? Okay. Okay, this one is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stops just short of you, Obsidian. What is your touch armor class? Oh, darn. My touch armor class is 11. Uh, he beats that on the roll. He is rushing forward with this vicious looking fisherman's spear halberd trident thing. It's just this vicious jagged thing with lots of different points. Uh, and then he throws it to his side for a second as he does this. Whoom! And from his belt, he hurls a net at you, Obsidian, which tangles you immediately. You are on minus two to attacks, minus four to dexterity. Your speed is halved, and only with an opposed strength check may you hurl it from you. Or escape artist, right? Can I try escape um, artist? It's be better than speed. I don't know. Yeah, I guess maybe. I guess maybe. I don't if you have, know. I think it's if you have a, like a, a slashing weapon, you can spend a full round cutting yourself out. I, I think. don't. It's I been a while since I've used it. I, yeah. I, uh, I actually didn't put down whether or not escape art. I imagine it will, but let me just double check. Oh, of course, typing in net 3.5 is... Uh... <laughs> Mm. I have, not I have the player's handbook uh, if you want me to do it, because it's not my turn anyway. So you can carry on then. And... Uh, yeah, by all means. Um, and I've you got continue it and I'll let you know. You can. It's a DC 20 escape artist check. And it is a full round action to complete. Uh, uh, I mean... <laughs> So with that Don't said, that is his turn. He is just lurched forward and hurled uh, a net upon you, Obsidian, catching you up like a like the catch of the day. Uh, the other one on the other side of the pool is going to provoke an attack opportunity unless Silasta does anything. Uh, well, Silasta is going to take an attack opportunity as yeah, because he attempts to. He's going to move and he's going to attempt to do something aggressive. So by all means, uh, let's see. So. Flat-footed, I guess, because he doesn't know I'm there. Uh, yeah, it will be flat-footed, yeah. 24. Is it hit? Excellent, as he takes an unsuspecting blow to the back of his head for seven points of damage. Just... Ooh, oh, my God. <sighs> wow. How much was that, sorry? It was... Seven. Seven. Bloody hell. Yeah, you seriously belt him. Um, to the point that he staggers forward and he wheels around looking for the source of the attack, uh, thus cancelling his what he was going to do. I think uh, he will spend the rest of his turn. That was his movement. He's going to ready his action. That's going to be it. Uh, we then... Yeah, I did do your turn. Sorry, I was your turns were in the middle of that of that round. There we go. So it just remains this guy who is going to draw a vicious looking hatchet and he's going to hurl it at you uh, across the murky pool. Ansel, what is your AC? AC is 16. Gets that on the die. The a blade slams into your shoulder doing four points of slashing damage. It slams into you hard. We are back to the top of the round, and uh, Varati is, will give a long laugh. <laughs> Did you not wonder how he got the name Sea Snakes? Oh, and he spends his turn gloating. My dearest <laughs> love! <laughs> Anemone, show them what happens when you step foot in our most gracious home. Uh, the water in the central pool begins to roil and bubble as all of a sudden erupting from the water is a very, very big snake. 
it erupts out of the water. It's uh, as its neck comes out, it's almost clear of the ten feet that uh, is the drop into the water. It gives a long, low. Um, and it's going to move. Oh dear. I've never had a character where a net has taken me fully out of commission. I actually am. I, I'm basically incapable of getting out of that net because I cannot roll the required strength check. It's impossible. And I'd have to roll a 19 to get the escape artist check. So I'm done, up. chaps. I literally am screwed. I've got nothing. Unless one of you helps me out of the net, I'm buggered. You can still do things from within the net, can't you? At massive minuses. Mm, nothing, yeah. I, nothing I've done at this point has hit. <laughs> my win my rolls today. No, no, I can't. <laughs> so, Obsidian, just to make you aware, there's that there was that mournful cry of that horn. You got hit with this mm -hmm. net. You're sort of tangled up, and then you see in front of you, over the lip of this pit, this absolutely humongous snake just rises out of the water and comes sliding towards you. But that's all it can do Ooh. in its turn. For then, um, the. The two standing next to Verates just look at each other and just uh, laugh, and then they're gonna they're gonna like take casual sort of steps down from the uh, from where they are. They they kind of feel like they've got this. Obsidian, it is now your turn. You are tangled and writhing him out in this net. Um, As previously stated, there's nothing I can do. I physically can't make the strength check. It's not possible. Okay, I mean. but can something else try and cut the net, I wonder? Uh, I don't have any weapons, because I don't carry one. You don't. Uh, so I will say... Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> you just here! <laughs> Help me, please! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> please help! Please help me! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> uh, and then, uh, because it's free to talk, so I will just ask for help. And then what I will do is I will uh, I will ready an action. So basically, when the snake uh, attacks me, mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's I mean it's going to be touching me. So when the snake touches me, I will I will cast a touch because it's pretty much the only thing I can do, I guess, in an attempt to uh, to damage it in some way. Okay. Very good. So that is your turn. Uh, Silaster, it is your turn. You see this humongous beast rise from the depths. What do you do? You see, I have a whole round to think of these things through, Silaster. Yes. <laughs> uh, and I didn't anticipate what Obsidian would do there, so... Help! help, help <laughs> I love me. it so much. Please help. Need, need help now. Okay, Celasta. You can leave the help to me if you want. You kill stuff. Well, Celasta's looking. I'm not proud. He wants to get over to Obsidian, but he knows that if he leaves now, it's just all the numbers are going to converge. So he's going to take a five foot step towards this guy as he becomes visible. His readied action, he swings at you. Uh, Wait. His ready action is gone. That was last round. He doesn't get a ready action on you. So forget that. You go. Excellent. I should point out what it would have been would have been a step across. So I like a sweeping arc in. Like, whoa. Yeah. Uh, dunk, dunk. And as he does. How is he looking, by the way? The guy that you belted. Pretty bad. Like, you smacked him, but like, still with plenty of strength to fight. Excellent. He's looking at me in surprise as I've just suddenly appeared in front of him, darting left, right. And as I do, clinging shadow strike as my hand straightens and I cut across his eye. His eye? I don't know, he's got an eye patch, maybe? Who knows? Uh, his eyes. Right. 17 to hit. Uh, 17 does hit him, yes. Yes. Firstly, it does. 
nine points of damage. Is he still standing? Um, he is not. Again, Celasta, every time he does this technique, there's an extra benefit to it, but he always seems to go too hard and just cut through the head. <laughs> he just cuts through their eyes, yes. Uh, I got, I got, yes. <laughs> every time. Well, what is it like still? You still get to describe it. Oh, yeah. So he goes through, hoping to uh, obscure him up slightly, but again, just cuts through as I kind of... I follow it through as a spin on the spot, and as I kind of... Uh, appear facing forward i can just see like his head's partially being cut open just like that like oh i went overboard again but very good okay so good as job, you man. consider <laughs> what strength lies within you uh we then move to ansel ansel is going to make a charge to his buddy so he's going to charge attack the snake the sea snake Um, 19 to hit. Wow! You charge forth and you strike Anemone herself. Anemone. Um, so Anemone takes 7 points of damage. And because I'm so scary as I charge, Dreadful Wrath takes effect and um, I need Anemone to do a will save. Oh, okay. Shaken for a minute. We'll okay. save DC 16. It's gone up oh, by Oh, 17 on the die. I'm sorry for Anemone. What about That's the others? Right. Do they have to do it as well? Uh, yeah, the pirate next to Anemone as well. Oh, he is nowhere near as lucky. So what happens to him? Uh, he is shaken, so he's minus two to... Attack, saves, and checks. That was an okay. Minus two. Saves. Checks. And gotcha. Then I'm going to burn a curse and I'm going to try and curse Anemone. Oh, nice. I really, I feel like her, her will save can't be that good as a snake, so I, I'm willing to risk it. Um, so yeah, will save of 15, so slightly worse. 20 on the die. Ah, shit. Okay, well. This snake doesn't but... seem like any normal snake, though. There's something strange about its eyes as it beholds you as you try and lay your power upon it. Um, so, Anemone is immune to my fear and curses for a day. It sort of arcs its neck as it realises it has a new target. But that was your turn. The one that has been struck by you, by your presence, um, is shaken for him. has to snap himself out of it and sees before him the writhing um, form of obsidian. Um, it's going to use... He's going to use, sorry, an opposed strength roll. If he is successful, he can move you ten feet. Try and drag me into the water or something. Absolutely. No! If you lose this, he is dragging you into the water. So make it good. I mean, would you like to know what my strength is? Well, you're going to know in a second when I roll it. Well, he is at minus two to. Uh, I know, but my strength. He's is a minus two to attack. One. Say, oh, and checks. So he is at minus two to this. Yes. I got a nine. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> but it's very good. So yeah. He just strength drags Obsidian you. Obsidian is not strong. He doesn't look remotely strong. You <laughs> saw him when he was trouserless earlier. Skinny. <laughs> and he just... <laughs> Where am I going? With a massive heave, just goes... Ah! And you fall, still enshrined, still uh, tangled in this net, down into the water. You. You tell me where I'm going. Everything is freezing. Everything is... a. Uh, dark, grim grey that just surrounds you, Obsidian, as you fall ten feet and splash Help. into the water. Help. And it is incredibly difficult to, to swim when you're in a net. That's kind of the swim. whole thing. <laughs> my swim is on minus one anyway because it's strength based. <laughs> you note that the guy is still holding the rope that uh, dragged you in so like he's sort of like well, there we go. I hold my breath. Mm. 
takes a while to uh, you're drown. Not sub- it? You're not yeah. submerged as of yet, but like you're going to take some swim check soon, uh, Obsidian. <laughs> 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 Just to pre-warn you, I will. I will fail. I decided. That Good. was um, <laughs> his turn. Um, this one. Oh, he's dead. I'm so sorry. He got absolutely annihilated by. Uh, so he's. I need to cross him off. Which just leaves this one, which uh, gives chase to Ansel. Or, yeah, he can do it. Ah, like just sp- springs a, uh, a vicious looking scimitar down at you, Ansel. Uh, this is the yes. one that threw the axe at you. He follows it up with a scimitar. What is your AC? Um, it's a minus two because I charged, so it's 14. How do you still parry the blade? Just, just. Um, so just at the last second, he panics and brings up the, the back end of the scythe just to try and block but it's uh, it's mainly luck and just a, a reactionary flinch more than anything else. Oh my goodness me. Really, really cool stuff. Um, that was his turn. We are back to the top of the round. Um, <laughs> I think Verratis is going to like turn around and he opens one of the chests and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> like trying things on, just like da da da. Um, <laughs> what a prick! Uh, but these two like turn around and they spot that Silaster has appeared and um, it's like three of the ranks of um, their comrades and has seen you slay one of their friends. So they're now going to start making their way towards you now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He will use double movement just to close on you, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gets there and gets a strike at you. Uh, I did move, so I haven't acted yet, so missed chance. Very good, yep. So the one that does get to strike you has to do the missed chance, so let's see. Hits an after image. What's it like? Strikes with this vicious looking trident thing, but you're not there. Uh, he sees that I'm kind of just been like this, and I'm just kind of like primed, ready, uh, having just killed him. But as he strikes through, the image disappears, and I'm just like two feet to the left of that, just kind of like already dodging out of the way as I left that kind of substitution in place. Whoa! Hmm. Okay, um, very good. That was them, three and four. So we're now over to Obsidian. <laughs> uh, I well, slowly first, think and hold my breath. Yeah, so we need a uh, we need a swim check, please. Okay, so what am I on minus for skills? Well, that's the thing. It says minus two to attacks, minus four to dexterity. It doesn't say anything about it. Um, I'm going to say just because you are in a net, it is going to make it harder. So we'll say it's a minus two to your swim checks. Okay. I think it's fair. I'm say it won't minus because swim is te- it's strength based. It is. Yeah. Uh, so I'm already on a minus one. So this is at minus three. But... Well. <laughs> <laughs> got a talent for swimming oh my god i think because that's a natural it's 20 panic. it's just sheer panic he's like <laughs> <laughs> he really doesn't like the water and he's worried it's gonna ruin his new leather so he panics and scrambles <laughs> you may use your in your full movement because of that i've decided we're going to reward that you can use your full movement wherever you want in the water you can get away from the snake get away from Whatever yeah, you want to do. I sort of moved to there, and I'm clutching the shore. Sort you can't. Of thing. I wasn't no, 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 out no, no, of no. it because I'm climbed out. But That's like, ten I'm foot on down. The... Oh, so you're against the wall. 
Yeah, so I'm it's no, this square, so it's one one square across. So I'm I'm against yeah. the wall. I'm not fully out. I'll place myself on the edge there. Yeah, that's but fine. But I'm sort of clinging to the rock at the edge of the water. Very good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're clinging onto the rock, that'll uh, that'll help you. We'll, uh, that was uh, excellent. Is there anything else you want to do, Obsidian? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, uh, what's my Ooh. minus? It's minus two to attacks. Uh, minus two to attacks. Yeah. I mean, I literally want to attempt to aim a touch attack at that guy. Yeah, by all means, yeah. Uh, he's still holding uh, the rope. He's sort, of, he's sort of like dragging you almost. So on you his can... touch armor class. Yeah. Okay, we Boom. need the bad rolls to piss off now. Necromantic <laughs> power erupts from the pit, and the guy sort of like staggers back almost, like uh, <sighs> like staring down at you, unable to comprehend what he's caught in his net. Um, that is your turn, then, Obsidian. That is all you yes. can do. Silaster. Okay. Got a good idea. So, I'm going to tumble away from both of them. Uh, a 22, though. Whoosh. That's easy enough. So, I tumble to there, out of both the threat ranges. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, but using that little bit of land that's there. Like literally. But as I reach the end, I want to do a jump check to land in the water next to Obsidian. Yeah, okay, well that's gonna be quite an easy jump check, just to jump out off the pit and land in the water next to him, no problem. Uh DC ten to land next to him. Uh I don't need to roll that then. My strength is twelve. Obsidian panics, scrambles, and drags you down with him. <laughs> <laughs> you take Obsidian's thumb to the eye. Yes, yeah, so you can just jump in there. In that case, you just hop in and land next to him. Um, that's my movement. I may be in the water here, mm -hmm. but as I want to do this on the net, I want to use Mountain Hammer to break the net. Can Have you used... How much movement did you just use to get there? I didn't see. Uh... Only so 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 for the 10 feet there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I want to use Mountain Hammer. I want to basically just kind of go up to him in the water and then just go. <laughs> yeah, so um, just to grab a hold of it, like, let's see. So when you target the net, um, you can make an attack on it. Let's hope I don't critically fail. Mm. <laughs> Fully overcome my damage reduction. <laughs> Knock him out in and one. Oh, it begins. <laughs> because he's panicking, it's for the best. Knock Was him that 25 to attack? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, roll your damage. Then you are able to just do damage to the net with that attack. Uh, if I'm typing in, do I need to put a space between, so 1d8 plus, do I put a space between that? You don't have to, you can do. Uh, 17 points of damage direct to the net. Oh my god, so you land in the water. What is it like as you just tear the net apart completely? Uh, I want to go from Obsidian's point of view here. You've just seen Celaster dart out of the way, run down the edge of the pool, do a sideways flip because he's really you know, hamming up at this point. It's very extra. He is so extra. It's a sideways flip. And as he does this, he's kind of like lunging at this point at the peak, at the precipice of the flip. As he then dives down and... My God. <laughs> Thank you. As he dives down, but he grabs the net and takes it with him as he lands. And just like... <laughs> yeah, you just tear it, it, it away and plunge into the water as you do so. Amazing stuff. I realised that... Extra recovery. I did a disservice to the beautiful serpent that is Anamone. So she is going to take her turn now. Um... Uh, I want you to roll because there is the disturbance behind her that would definitely attract her attention considering it's in her home or it's Ansel having just struck her. Uh, Silaster, roll me a d4. One and a two, it's you. Three and a four, it's Ansel. 
so wow. that's the the cra- like it's almost like the the crash of the water makes the coiled spring unleash and the snake whirls about um if she's gonna hit me yep does get a mischance i guess Uh, the snake slams, slams into the water where it thought you were, uh, but you were just to the side of it, um, mm. submerged by what remains of the net. Um, she gives like a vile hiss, um, and um, what else can she do? Now that's going to be it. That's going to be it. I think, um, unless no, that's it. That is Anamone's turn. In that case, we go back to where we were normally in initiative. That was Silas's turn. Ansel, it's your turn. You see the great uh, snake just splash into the water to try and snap up Silaster, but missed. So uh, Ansel senses weakness in the uh, pirate who was holding the net and it seems like a good time to try and take someone out of the fight so he's going to take a five foot step backwards and then he's going to try a sickening blast on that pirate uh, 24 on his touch oh my goodness that is a, clearly a hit on that one there that holds the rope uh, five points of damage and he needs to do a fortitude save of DC 15 or be sickened uh, bearing in mind he's already uh, shaken. He um, is shaken, yeah. Uh, so that's so he's at minus two. Damage, minus two. Uh, and then what was the roll, sorry, DC? 15. Fortitude. Fortitude, yeah. That's a fail. So he's now at minus four, and I'm going to try and take him completely out of it, and I'm going to curse him as well. Oh, uh, so he needs to do another... Uh, not another. Well, it's another. We'll save this time. Um, at minus four. At minus four with DC 15. Here we go. That's a fail. Uh, he's now at minus six to attack, saves and checks, and minus four at weapon damage. Minus four W damage. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. What does it all look like, that string of attacks? You hit him three times, each with everything that you did. What, what does it look like? Um, Ansel, like, just steps back into this guy. Just something about him catches his eye for a second and he sees the him just become enveloped in shadow and all he can see is the eyes and this sort of, like, skeletal look mm. plunging from the shadows and the eyes just become clearer and clearer and he sees just two slits almost as... <laughs> as he comes cursed, sickened, and uh, shaken all at once. He can't take his eyes off Ansel, essentially. Oh my goodness. As yeah. much as he'd like to. <laughs> yeah, he is there. Does that mean, when you say that, that isn't a mechanical thing, though? He doesn't yeah. have to go for you or anything, does he? No, that's just like... But that's the where, reason yeah, for the him reason. missing <laughs> yeah. if he misses. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Um, is that everything, Ansel? That's everything I moved and did yeah. uh, other things as well. It is now his turn, and he watches in despair, first of all, as the the rope that he was holding the net with just comes through as Silas has just torn the net asunder. And then he looks at you, Silasta, and his faculties melt. He, uh, he gives out a startled cry. Um, um, and... He's going to take his hatchet and he is going to throw it just instinctually at you as in, as in a, a thing of like fear. Like, ah, get away from me. Like, throws it at you, Ansel. What is your AC? 16. A minus six to the attack. Yeah. <laughs> he rolls a two. So uh, <laughs> that's pretty... Minus four. minus four. is pretty staggering. It just slams into the wall a good, like, 15 feet from you. Um... And um, he will take a... He will take a free five-foot step to there, and that'll be his turn. 
that one is dead. This one is also going to go for you, I think. Ansel. Mm -hmm. Just a free five foot step, and round the corner of the cave tries to slam that scimitar into you again. This vicious looking scimitar that he just keeps swinging at your head. AC. 16. How do you parry it? Um, he just uses the wall. He's like, he's basically like hiding and ducking out when he wants to do stuff in this doorway at the moment. So he just ducks behind the wall and gets right up next to it and the scimitar just <laughs> clangs off the corner. Very good. We are back to the top of the round. Verati is, is having the time of his life. Uh, he holds up what looks like a pendant. It seems to flash blue for a second as he puts it over um, and then replaces his hat with the wig on it um, and uh, will use his movement to just swagger in the way that pirates do. Swagger and takes like a, a jumping step to land there. Um, You're gonna eat well tonight, my dear, he says at the snake, who rears back. Um, um, really annoyed that it missed, that she missed Silasta, to be honest, so she's going to take another stab at you, I believe. Miss chance this time or not? You haven't moved, have you? I haven't moved yet, and I know we did it out of initiative, so the first one. So technically, I would still have it. Even though you... No, you moved last it's time, my, you didn't move this yeah, time. Yeah, but my round hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it did. It just happened early. We, we, this is a whole new round. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying my you still have last it. Turning move, so it's yeah. still active. Okay, fair enough. It, it lasts to the top of my round. Let's see. Oh, just. just shy. So close. <laughs> so close. The fang sail down. Does it get an attack on your AC? You're in water, so you're going to be. At a, it's going to get an advantage at attacking you. Your AC will be lower because you are swimming. Okay, well, um, base is 18, so. Uh, I think it's probably the same as being prone, isn't it? Be yeah, so four. we'll say it gets a plus four to attacking you, and you get. Um, yeah, that sounds right. Oh, mama, that is a hit. Uh, so, vicious looking jaws clamp down upon you, Silasta, dealing. Five points of piercing damage. <clears throat> and because the bite landed, the snake immediately grapples you for free. Oh, damn. Uh, the snake basically latches onto you and its body just wraps around you in one fluid no, movement. No, no, no grapple check allowed there. It's a free grapple on a successful bite. So it well, is it's a improved, yes. improved it's grab. It means it gets a free check. grapple attempt. Yes. So you still get the... That's what I'm saying. Can you please <sighs> roll your grapple, please, Silaster? <clears throat> oh, crap. Minus four in the swim. <laughs> Oh, so I don't get my... I get minus four on top of this. You're minus four because you're in water. Then this is a base d20. <clears throat> um, she successfully grapples you. Uh, and you feel... As you breathe in and then out. When you breathe out... The musculature of the snake begins to tighten around you. Which will become a problem next turn if you do not escape. Um, that is her turn. Number three. Where is he? Up here. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's also just going to use his hatchet. Why not? It's going to throw that at your armor class. Gets a plus four against you. Obsidian. What is your AC? Uh, my armor class is 15. <laughs> he rolls a two. The, uh, the hatchet splashes loudly next to you. 
so he misses. looks genuinely surprised. That <laughs> yeah, that so him. Everyone rolls a two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one is just going to close to here. I think. Obsidian, it's now your turn. Mm, okay. Uh, I just want to attempt to touch attack on the snake. Yeah. Uh, which... Uh, yeah, I don't actually have to touch it because it's going to be a ranged touch, but... Since it's involved in a <clears throat> grapple with Silasta, I don't think... It get would it get an attack of opportunity in me casting? Oh yeah, it's right next to Should you. Should I um cast defensively? Because it's involved in a grapple, I'm going to say no. Uh, I think next turn it might, because then it'll just have it right. be able to hold Silasta and still bite with its head. So next turn it will will, but not this turn. And uh this is on its touch armor class. Yeah. I don't know if anything gets any negs for being involved in a grapple. Probably not as it's larger, but uh touch armor class. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally. 17 on its Hits touch. on its touch. You hit uh, Anemone. Yes. Okay, which means... Now, I need to just double-check because of my Illumina. It's one per two caster levels, so it's plus two. Take six points of strength drain from a Ooh, ray of okay, enfeeblement so... to try and okay. help Silaster escape. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Okay. So it is now significantly weaker. Silasta, so hopefully that will help you get out of there. And then can I... Oh, I mean, I'm going to suck at it. But as that's just a spell, can I attempt as a move to do a climb check? You can, yes. Because it's 10 feet, you can use half your movement to attempt the climb. Uh, so, um, yeah, but it will be I your mean, full it's... movement. So, yeah, you could attempt the climb. Make a climb check for me, please. 12? Um, it's not bad for a minus one. It Something is like not bad. Um, it is, however, slightly. Hang on. No, that is it's enough. Not bad for a minus. It's not one. bad, it's yeah, not and it is enough. There. You're able to climb to the to the to the to the edge, and you will pull yourself out of the pit. Nice. So I'm now stood in front of the the pirate that netted me. Yes. Prick. <laughs> leave him. Leave him. He's he is unable to take part in combat. Basically, he's at minus six to everything. Fight other... Oh, the one with the net. Is he really? Yeah. Yeah, he's screwed. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Fair play. Um, nice. Yeah, he looks in horror as you climb out, and he sees that mask of yours. Your clothing, like uh, like just sodden and wet, You're, like clinging to your frame, <laughs> and you emerge out My of the water. My brand. <laughs> It's a good impression, like. <laughs> oh no, wet leather. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he uh he is amazed and looks on in wonder as you climb out. Obsidian, that was your turn, and a good turn it was. Silasta, it is now your turn. Uh though the stake is slightly weakened, it still is a size category larger and really, really strong. Good luck. There is what can I see? Uh, you're sort of like half submerged in the water. It's wrapped around your body. So I can't see anything. You can see the pit where you are. You can see the like, pits and you see the snake and the water. I mean, can I see around me? Can I see like, anywhere else? Can I see what's going on? Well, do you want to just specify and then I can tell you yes or no? <laughs> okay, can I see like, uh, for example, over here or over here? No, you are 10 foot down in water. Definitely not. You can see the edges of the pit, and you can so see... So I can see, like, there, maybe, or there. You can see the the edge of it. Yeah, you're looking up at it like that. Uh, okay, I can't do what I wanted to do. So I will have to attempt to just break out then. Yep. So uh, you are in water. Have you got escape artist? <laughs> Uh, yeah, escape artist essentially puts me on a one because I'm. All right. Well, your grapples, your four. grapple will be better then, surely, than it's, that. Well, I lose four, so it's normally plus. I wonder what it is four. when you're, well, yeah, when you're, 
grappled in water. Because, like, the disadvantage with that is that you have to keep yourself swimming to act, mm. but because you're held there... I don't think... If it's like... So if it's like being prone for an attack, mm. I don't think there's a disadvantage breaking a grapple if you're prone, because you're just grappling someone else that's on you. So I think Yeah, it's I guess so. Yeah, it'll just be normal grapple. then. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, so just do a normal uh, opposed strength roll then, please. And see if you can well, out I'm going to try to do an escape artist. Just oh, all that? Yeah, by all means. Yeah. I'll oppose. Okay. So That's just curious. That. that actually indicates a little bit more about his character uh, as to what he is, because I'm still not sure about what he is. Right, well, I've like rolled escape, and it's a fairly decent a DC, player. so let's see what you get. Yeah, so just clarifying here, I'm minus four to my roll. Because I'm no. No, we've said no because you are grappled and you're just trying to break out of the thing. If you were trying to attack it, then it would be yes. But because you're grappled, we're just going to say no. It's fine. Cool. So just a standard Never roll. Mind. Ten. Uh, unfortunately not. No, uh, the, the beast is just wrapped about you and um, you try and struggle to break free. But uh, Anemone has you well and truly in her grasp. Um that was your turn, Silasta. Ansel. Um, Ansel is going to do a full round of single attack on the pirate. Mm. Uh, that's a miss, probably. Exactly Dan. the same as me. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that is. That, that's, that, that's the one with the cutlass that you swung at your head, yeah. Yeah, um, but because that's it's a, a full round of attack. So yeah, it has to go off. Um, there's a 20 foot radius will save needs to happen. Oh um, my the goodness. The snake doesn't apply to that because she's immune to mine. Okay, so is, uh, it, is it just these two boys here or does it reach them over there as well, I wonder? Uh, I don't think it reaches them. They look like they're too far away oh. to me. Yeah, so... I'm not going to check. I think they just are too far. All right, let's just do it for those two then. They've got to do a will save, have they? Yeah, 16 is the DC. Okay, uh, so that's uh, number... Let's do number four first, then. DC 16 will save. <laughs> that is a fail. And for number seven, that is a fail. They have both failed on their saves. So they are shaken. Shaken. Not stirred, um, which Not means stirred. they are minus two to attacks, attacks saves, and saves and checks. Saves and checks. Oh, I'm getting used to the... <laughs> I'm getting used to, <laughs> to that, Dom. Uh, and that was number four. He is also shaken. Minus two attacks, saves, checks. Anything else on your turn, Ansel? Uh, no. Very good. Uh, the guy who is on the edge next to Obsidian is just going to try and just belt you with his vicious looking halberd hybrid halberd trident thing pick uh, your spot ac 15 he's at minus six yes. <laughs> he just swings wildly for you obsidian how do you just step away or how do you prevent this from hitting you literally just <laughs> just a little side step all it needed. I've seen that he's 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 clearly he's a bit like because he's all like all over the place. Dead easy. And the guy with the cutlass who tried to strike Ansel like staggers back from being struck uh, and shaken by you. He's like ah, 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 and like brings the cutlass down at you again. AC uh, sixteen. Possibly a fumble. What is it like as he swings for you and your parry or your defense just knocks him to the ground as he swings for you again? Um, so I think he swings and uh, Ansel's scythe just comes down and pins the weapon to the wall. <gasps> and his hand keeps going and he like punches the ground and goes, ah! <laughs> as he lets go of the weapon. I like and that very Ansel's much. Like, Butterfingers. Butterfingers. <laughs> With that, we are back to the top of the round. Uh, Baratis uh, just gives out a laugh. <laughs> Finish them, girl! Finish them! Uh, Anemone uh, just automatically does constricting damage upon you now, Silaster. 
This is going to suck, I'm afraid. I mean, it's lessened slightly by the strength damage. It actually <laughs> is. That is a really good point. So that is nowhere near as bad. That is instead six points of constricting damage. <sighs> Still not For pleasant. purposes of damage, uh, it counts as bludgeoning. I don't have damage reduction, but... I know, I'm just saying, just generally, it's bludgeoning. Yep. Uh, no, no yeah. good. Um... That was her. She's just gonna crush you to death. Um, she doesn't need to stop. Uh, that is number three. Is up here. Is unaffected by everything. Is gonna try and run you through. Please, Obsidian AC fifteen. Is it? Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's fifteen. That is a hit. That's a sixteen on the die. So that strike lands true. Uh, the vicious-looking weapon does. Seven points of piercing damage. Stabs okay. into you. Ouch! Ah! Oh, right. Okay, so that stabbed you. Where is number four? Did four die? Four died, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. No, well, he didn't. Yes, no, he definitely no, he's did. There. He right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, so he is going to also step to Obsidian. Oh, joy. Not Obsidian, sorry. Um, Ansel. Uh, and he can go there, because he has oh, reach, over there. and I keep forgetting, so he can just stand there and just stab at you. AC of Ansel. 16, but he is at minus 2 because of the... Uh, he is at minus 2... Which means that is a miss. He Thanks. swings for you. You're able to parry it aside. Obsidian, it's your turn. They can both have a chance of opportunity on me. Okay, so we'll do the normal one first and then the thoroughly, thoroughly cursed one. Um, so I will move actually to the. Yeah, that's number three taking that attack of opportunity, isn't it? I'll just mm -hmm. double check. Yeah. He swings at you hard. That's an 18 on the dice. That is definitely going to hit you. Um, that is six points of piercing damage. Stabs into you. The other one swings hard with a minus six. <laughs> uh, that's an exact zero. <laughs> the world would never no, change no, because no, of... <laughs> he swings hard for you. Uh, you continue your turn as you take that yeah, strike. But keep so moving. I have moved to there and now we'll aim at... Uh, the snake. Actually, yeah. no, because I wanted to move. So I want to move to there, because I want to be uh, away from the snake. <laughs> I don't want to be at risk. But I can just see its butt sticking out. So on its touch armor class... Did I press? Yeah, you did. did and that is a hit on her touch armor class. Oh, I want some, for some reason, my chat had stopped and I hadn't scrolled Mine does the button, that, so I didn't all know the what time. I rolled. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was annoying. Mm. Oh, lovely. Excellent. That's amazing. So that is a further... It's only three. Three points of strength. That is the last spell I have for the day, I'm afraid. Oh, my goodness. So uh, I hope that that helps you, Silaster, because I can't do much more. That was three <laughs> points of strength damage to Anemone. Was that correct? Yes. Did it do any damage? It doesn't do any damage, just Ray of Enfeeblement. Okay, it just so does that is strength. another... Okay. So it'll just take her strength down a little bit further yeah. so that Silaster can get out of there, I hope. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's doable. Uh, she gives like a long hiss as she's racked with this necromantic power, but she is an old girl and she has seen many dangers in this world and will not fade just yet. Um, that was Obsidian. Silasta. Okay, I do appreciate that she's getting weaker, but I've had something planned I didn't want to use straight away. Um, but it's come to this. So I will... It's not a spell. It's not a supernatural ability. It's technically an extraordinary ability. Uh... Mm. I'm changing the music. Carry on. Sorry. I am listening. Okay. <laughs> and it's called Shadow Jaunt. And I get to teleport within sight. And I want to teleport to the edge here. Ooh, can you do this? 
as far as I'm aware, it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity because it's not a spell or a supernatural or a spell like ability. How in the hell? Is it oh, an extraordinary like ability? It step. is extraordinary ability. <laughs> Monks don't get Damn right, it's extraordinary. <laughs> How the Hang hell? on, so you can do it from a grapple? As far as I'm aware, because it doesn't provoke. It's not a spell or a spell like ability or a supernatural ability. It's an extraordinary ability. As far as I'm aware, there's no. Like the music's there. gone all X Files y for this. <laughs> Mike casts level 18. <laughs> hey, at this level, though, that Listen, cost me my standard action. I'm... Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, no, it costs us... Got out of oh, fire and air curses every three seconds. And the Silas are doing abundant step. 15, 16 levels early. <laughs> <laughs> Obsidian's looking at you guys like, what the hell? We will... Like, I think we'll look into that. But for now... The wrong level. Because I don't want to try, I don't want to, I don't want to argue about it. I won't dispute it. I will just take it at, at, at face value, and we will look into this because I'm a bit stunned by that. But certainly, in that case, then you see death before your eyes, Silasta. The world is closing in around you. Mm. I want you, because this is a very special ability, as you said, to tell me what enters your mind as you perform this unearthly act. What do you uh, think of? What comes to your mind as it happens? There's a moment of panic where Celaster is thinking either I'm going to get crushed or I'm going to drown or worst case it's going to both happen at the same time. Uh, and then there's just a voice in the back of his head that just says, remember breathe. And Celaster thinks, well I'll just close my eyes and just for a moment think and when I take my breath, I will be safe. He opens his eyes, he sees the gap, and he goes, <gasps> and he's already there, as he's just winked out and just appeared, head just breaching the water as his standard action. <sighs> That's really, really cool. And as you have done that, uh, as you're breathing out, um, you feel the snake go, vroom, and just slam together. Oh. Um, oh, good timing. And she goes, and sort of like arcs in a circle, having been robbed of her prey, and is like looking around desperately for the next bite. Um, that was my standard action. It's my move action. action. I want to climb out of that pond. <laughs> well, that water. That, that, standard, that, that took him a standard action. I will happily like explore we'll this with you guys. We'll look yep. into it. Uh, very well. Um, so yeah, you still need to climb to get out though. Yep. That's not bad. So you've appeared. So you're just going to use your movement to climb out. So it was DC twelve. Yeah. I get some synergy. Twenty four. <laughs> so you zoom <laughs> appear and then climb up to the top. You are now on that bank, but you're on dry land. Good work, Silasta. There we are. Can I take a free action to quaff a potion as well? <laughs> I know it's rubbing it in a bit, but... Why not? Fuck it. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's a part, part of what we've agreed that's... you can do, so absolutely. Uh, Ten points in total. That's five plus five. Okay, perfect. Ansel, it's your turn. He sort of sees this through combat <laughs> happening. <laughs> And he's just like, what is going on over there? <laughs> like, suddenly the snake's in the air. So last he's popping up all over the place. I'm going to take a five-foot step back. And I'm going to uh, sickening blast this guy here. Just directly in front who uh, tried to poke me last round. Very good. Okay. And that is a critical miss. Amazing. So yeah, you Fuck swing yeah. hard. Let's see if you confirm the critical miss or not. You're <laughs> fine. You just slam the scythe next to him and he goes <gasps> as it like lands next to his face and he sees his reflection in the blade. Because um, okay. it is just a miss. Uh, anything else on your turn, Ansel? Uh, mm. Yes, I will also attempt to curse this guy here. Okay, by all means. Uh, 
DC 15 will save. Okay. That's a fail. Cool. He is minus two to attack saves, checks, and weapon damage. In addition to his... Uh, fear, uh, he's already stunned. at minus no, two, isn't he? Take... So he's minus four now, yes? Yeah, except uh, I don't think he's... Uh, yeah, minus four to everything except weapon damage, which is just minus two. Minus two to weapon damage. Very good. Yeah, he uh, staggers back, stunned and uh, mortified at the power that has struck him. Um, that was your turn. <laughs> this guy here has watched uh, Obsidian dart away uh, and gives chase, like the mortal battle between... Oh <laughs> between the fisherman and his catch uh, does a free five foot step and because he does have reach can strike you from there I am not your carp <laughs> he sees 15 is he yeah um, he's at minus six so he swings hard that's actually really good but unfortunately the minus six is just drags him down so he just stabs at you but like his um <laughs> You, you're sort of able to move away and his weapon smashes into the wall next to you. Um, that was him. Number seven, this guy here just going to switch. No, he's going to he's going to provoke an attack opportunity off you, Ansel. Uh, Ansel I don't know if uh, my thing is updated. I've actually taken a step oh, back. Oh, you have? No, 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 it has updated. I just neglected to, to, to see that. So in that, he won't provoke an attack of opportunity. He will use half his movement to stand. Uh, the rest of it to pursue you. And, Very well. Um, the, his attack as well. He gets an attack. Uh, 16 AC. Is a hit. Gets a... Oh, wait, no. He's at minus two. That's a oh. miss. Hey. That is a miss. That is a miss. He swings, and in another world, that would have gone straight through you, but... Right here, right now, clangs against the uh, the cave tunnel as you back away from his strike. We are back to the top of the round. Marathi's, uh is just looking around saying, I'm getting a bit bored over here. Do you want to hurry this up? <laughs> um, Anamone gives a venomous hiss. Not venomous because she's venomous. She's just really annoyed. Um, so that's just over there. I think he's over there. I'm really sorry, Obsidian. Hey, not in the water anymore. It's all good. <laughs> or in a net. Yeah. <sighs> Attacks your armor class. Is it 15? Yeah. 17 on the die. That is a hit. Oh, dear. Uh, piercing and bite sinks into your flesh. But the bite is nowhere near as powerful as it was. It does Thank four God. points of piercing damage. Okay, that does not overcome my damage reduction, so I take far less. Automatically far provokes less. a grapple, a please. Auto grapple against <laughs> me. Oh, joy of joys. Well, it did happen last time. It shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> no, I know. I just <sighs> forgot. I mean, yeah, you are. <laughs> my grapple, because my strength is minus, but yeah. my attack is plus, so my grapple is one. Nineteen! I mean, I can't roll much better than that. Oh. Got me. Although, How you know, is my... it, Obsidian, that as the snake strikes you and its body begins to curve <laughs> round you, that you evade its grasp because of your gnawing necromantic power? I mean, I just, yeah, she's grappling me and I literally, as she's just tightening up, I just go, and just climb out of the coil. And I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm like he's taking off a pair of trousers. That's what happens when <laughs> leather gets wet. It's a bit slippy. <laughs> it's slippy. <laughs> slippy. Oh, God. <laughs> you snaky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Silasta, oh, the... oh, it's your turn. Oh, Can oh. someone please do some damage to something? That would be really great right about now. <laughs> okay. A uh, formal request for Don't damage. I go before Silasta. That's I correct. It's Obsidian first. Uh, you're absolutely right, and I've just missed a whole bunch of other people's goers as well. So I don't know. It's because you—that was you. Your 
opposed grapple. That's why I got confused there. Yeah. It was the snake's turn. Yes, it was the snake's turn. Who failed to grab you? It is now uh, this one's turn who is going to uh, try... <laughs> God, yeah, I mean, they can just converge on you. So, five, ten... Ah, uh, it's all good. Yeah, that's what he wants. Fifteen. He it. Yeah, no, just no, I don't in. want that. No, I don't want that Number now. Three Not this steps time, I don't in want and just stabs at you violently. Uh, Before I wanted it, now I don't want it. This one has no negatives to anything, no. so oh that God. is going to be a hit, I'm afraid. Uh, ah! Just stabs <laughs> into you for six points of piercing damage. Uh, I'm not having fun, boys. Like, it just jabs into your leg and you give, like, a cry as blood Ow. just paints the wall behind you as it goes through your leg. <laughs> the of... Then number four... ...is here. <laughs> now, that's a good question. Can someone with reach stab... I think they can stab yeah. over people, can't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna do oh, it. Yeah, He's gonna... Quite... He's going to try and stab over at you, Ansel. Unfortunately, he is at a negative. Um, is he at negative four? The he is the one at negative four, I believe. Let's just double check. He is number four. Who is at negative four? How easy to remember. Um, <laughs> so that is a disastrous <laughs> strike. We shall try and, we'll try and keep that up. For you. Yeah, he just <laughs> strikes down at you, but the guy just is in his way, so he just can't even get a clean strike at you. Obsidian, it's your turn. Well, uh, as a free action, I cast uh, Sphere of Ultimate Destruction and Naturally, Wish at yeah. the same time. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Obsidian, no spells, and uh, his uh, No, no empty. spells, but I will do a free five-foot step to there, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, staying in his attack of opportunity, but leaving the snakes... Oh no, no the snake's no, large. The snake will have reach. It's not leaving his either. Yeah, but it's a five foot step. Oh, and also, five, five foot, foot steps step. never provoke. And that's fine. So, uh, and then I just want to try a touch attack on that guy. Yeah, by all means, go right ahead. So just reach out and touch him. 16 on his touch. 16 is a hit against his touch armor class. Come on. It takes five points of negative energy damage. <sighs> as I just. I'm trying really hard to pull his ghost out of him. Yeah, he gives a cry of pain as uh, he is racked. Um, nearly half to death. And that is... Oh. Ooh, yeah, five is that touch. Time. Anything else? I mean, I could take a potion, but I you think... You could. Although it's a, we said it's a swift, does it provoke attacks of opportunity? It does. I don't know we discussed that. So yeah, I think it's probably not worth it at the moment. Because I still have over ooh, just about half health. Yeah, there'll be a lot of wrath that comes your way should you reach for a glistening potion at your side. I um, think that's probably not a good idea. I mean, either way, I think maybe I'll run away on the next turn. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm not going to take a potion. Okay, very good. So... That was Obsidian's turn. It is now Silaster's turn. Uh, Silaster, seeing that they've converged with his allies and he sees the snake, he knows he's, we've got to thin the numbers down. So he charges. Well, he doesn't charge. He runs 30 feet in. Uh, and as he does, he kind of skids in behind this guy here uh, and goes for a very straight jab really quickly into his back. And again, so quick. Okay. I'm going to roll it twice. Uh, do I? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Let's pick the result. Doesn't matter. It's going to be 19 anyway. They're both the same. I tick the lowest. That is a hit. Oh, sorry. No, what am I talking about? It would be... Um, that's combined. Ignore me. It would be 14. Uh, 14 to hit? Yes. That's a miss. Yeah, thought so. I, I added them up there. I was like, nope, that's not right. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's a miss. Yeah, you rush in and you swipe at him, but unfortunately, uh, luck is on his side and he does not get struck by you. Anything else? Uh, no, but my Child of Shadows is now covering me. So that's Okay, good to know. Ansel? Uh, yeah, Ansel's going to take a step back <laughs> and... Um, Attempt a sickening blast on the guy just directly in front of him. Okay. Right, by all uh, means. 
25 to hit. That could be a crit. Touch. That is a hit on his touch, obviously. I uh, don't think that will be a hit on his for a critical. Um, that yeah, isn't a hit on his touch. touch. That isn't a hit, I'm afraid. So it's just... Uh, he takes five points of damage, and he needs to do a fortitude save of fifteen, or be sickened. Fortitude save Just... is a fail, and it was five points of damage, was it? It was five points of damage. Okay. So that one is sickened, and he's already got a minus two, yeah, from something. <laughs> he's shaken and sickened, and the other guy is shaken and right, cursed. So he's minus four. Then. Oh my god! The characters that we've made here, specifically me and Dom. <laughs> <laughs> just really, really made it hell for Robbers. Because <laughs> we're all just going to be like, that one's now on minus two, minus three, minus six. Minus I've seven. got a good way of making note of it. Like, I, I realised pretty early yeah, on that good. I was going to have to be quite on it, to be honest. It. So, yeah. You're going to have to learn how to do this. You just don't hurt things, so they're all fine. <laughs> yeah, they've all got full health. <laughs> I mean, well, no, he got five, but he's still, yeah, he's still, all right. He's not bad. Okay, that was Ansel's turn. This one here, oh god, Obsidian. Eh. Eh. <sighs> Can reach you. Yes. Uh, and he is. Grab the end of his spear. Minus and pull him six. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly a fumble. Ooh. I do grab the end of his spear and put him in the water. <laughs> yeah. Ah <laughs> Falls in. Pathetic. He's at minus Amazing. six. He begins to drown. <laughs> um, that was him. Six is dead. Number seven oh. uh, at a minus four. Uh, <laughs> keeps pursuing Ansel, who is going... Further and further back into the cave. Oh god, I can't even select him. B5 at step. Swings at a minus four at your AC, which is 15? 16? 16. 16, that's a miss. We're back to the top of the round. Of Harati's is just... Just looking around. I wonder what I'll be having for dinner this evening. <laughs> Anna Moni is asking herself the same question. Um sees uh, the target that escaped her grasp and is going to just do a five slither step. Um, I realise that there's no music playing, so let's sort that out. Oh shit, we'll have to paint Disney. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, careful. <laughs> oh god. There we go. Cry um, out um, good ba -ba 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 There you go. Just, Very good. Just off off lightly, brand. Uh, yes, off brand Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. We are the pirates of right. the Dominican Republic. Snake. Specifically. <laughs> the pirates of the Dominican Republic. <laughs> right. AC Silaster. Uh, 18, but I have a mischance as well. You do. I've rolled the attack. Let's pray for a mischance, Silasta. 14. Why do I keep bringing it up on this one? That's really annoying. There 14. Oh, will it be? Let's find out. Swatch. Damn. <laughs> four, isn't it? Gonna do that every yeah. time. Uh, so that is going to hit your armor bit. class in that case. Uh, so that is going to deal... Uh, just uh, four points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Must have rolled high, man. Yep. And can you also... Yeah. Grapple off, please. Yeah, come on, man. You've got so much more of a chance this time. Potentially. Not bad. Potentially. 17, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's have nine points of strength damage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anemone's going to go hungry. She bites onto you, tries to wrap around you, but oh. you're able to slip out of her grasp. Yes. That is her turn. Uh, number three. Um, oh, God. 
yeah, watches his friend go over, uh, just gives like an exasperated sigh. Uh, still, <laughs> it's the only one that really hasn't got a negative, apart from Virati's, uh, who just has a negative opinion of you, um, is just going to try... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try and <laughs> well played. Try well and played. slice at you or Love stab it. at you with the uh, with the. Oh no! Oh, oh here we go. Possibly Possibly a a critical. Critical. Yeah. Not a critical. It's a hit. So, uh, Albert uh, Trident thing goes into your. I should just pick one. Trident goes into you for <laughs> uh, five points of piercing damage, Obsidian. Okie dokie. Stabs into you uh, again. Uh, your blood is painting that wall. Like you've just been stabbed and hacked yeah. at as you're sort of like yeah. desperately trying to get away from them. Um, it is now number four's turn. Who is there? He's going to turn around and is just going to try and belt you, Silaster. Miss uh, Chance. Uh, AC 18. Yeah. How'd you parry? Uh, if he comes in, uh, it's an extreme block. <laughs> Very good. Um, the ultimate blocking technique. Uh, really good. <laughs> it is now. It is unbreakable. So, so the prophets say. Obsidian, it is your turn. Lovely. Uh, I will attempt to touch the one dude that's in front of me with touch attack. Very well. Touch AC. The one dude that's not at any uh, negative. 16 on his touch armor class. He's a hit on his touch armor class. Lovely. <laughs> I take two points. For God's sake. Back. Oh no. He goes, ah! Um, he can have an attack of opportunity. One, two, three. Three, four, five, and six. He swings and it clashes against the wall as it misses uh, oh! your armor class. Oh, I'm a lucky swine. Yeah, I mean, Emily. yeah, it was a pretty bad roll, to be fair. Quaff a cure light, which is 1d8 plus 5. 1d8 plus 5, roll it up, yep. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Nine okay. points of HP. Anything else okay. on this turn, Obsidian? Uh, no, that is me. Silaster. <laughs> okay. Quick analysis. This guy here, does he look like he's taken any damage? Uh, let's just double check, shall we? Aside from looking slightly... Um, no, shaken. he's actually untouched. Okay. Damage-wise, he is mortified and harrowed. Um, what about uh, anime? Is she... He's not having a good time. Anemone, he's, Anemone. he's got a few chunks out of her, but she's invariably still going. Yeah, she's all right. Uh, I look at both and I'm like, oh, curse the snake. I take a five foot step over and uh, try I and will... punch a snake in its face. Yeah. <laughs> she gets ready for you, like approaching Silaster versus the snake. There will be songs, but which way will they go? Let's find out. Versus! Again! Uh, 19 to hit. Bam! You slam into the snake. Six damage. Oh. Uh, then, this is my risky move. I will provoke an attack of opportunity from the snake and the pirate. The snake. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> it's gonna hit me eventually. If this if this pays off, it will pay off. In, in uh, I actually wonder before I do this. I actually don't know if a creature has improved grab. It can't grapple on an attack of opportunity, can it? Uh, uh, any, it can, yeah. I think yeah, pretty much it can. Well, if then, it, yes, if it, it lands like a hit, it, then it can. Uh, does it have a mischance, Silaster? No, I've not moved enough. That's definitely gonna be a hit. Um, where is it? Three points of piercing damage. Uh, post grapple. Fifteen. It is Ooh. minus whatever. She is. 
she is at minus whatever. What that happened? is what minus saves you. Um, uh, it bites, tries to grab hold of you, but the withering necromantic power that has uh, racked it is what saves you. You manage to move the... away. Oh yeah, sorry, the other one. <laughs> oh god. Um, 18. I miss. Excellent. I'm not moving away. I'm quaffing a potion of mage armor. Whoa! Uh, oh. Get in. So that's armor class of plus four. Zoom! Like this mystical energy surrounds you as you, you prepare. It. Yeah, as you prepare for the next phase of the battle. Seemingly, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> um. Okay. Anything else on your turn, Silaster? Ansel. Um. Ansel has pretty much run out of ways to make these guys worse so he's just gonna fucking hit him okay um if i can find my uh there we go uh 22 to hit the guy in front of me yes absolutely categorically hits him he suffered five points of damage how do you kill him um, we got one. My God! So all this time, as he's been fighting backwards in the cave, the guy's been like swinging at shadows, and it turns out Ansel's on the other side of the cave. And then uh, just a pit is in front of him, and he's like, "Ha, ah, gotcha!" Swings the sword up, and Ansel just brings the sight up through the groin, out the mouth, and then, um, and then Ansel's gonna move to there. Amazing. Uh, and now, perhaps this is where the tables turn because now you're in a flanking position. We're back to the top of the round. Uh, Verati um, looks at this medallion that he's put around his uh, shoulders and gives the blue sapphire along it uh, a wipe with his thumb. And whatever <laughs> magical power that is within it activates. That's his turn. Uh Alimony, um is uh I mean we're a one on one right now, so this yeah, is yeah. amazing that you're both sort of on the edge of this pit and like she's like uh desperately trying to find like a gap in your armor, bites down again at your AC, which is now twenty two. How do you defend yourself against these seismic jaws that slam down at you? I think where before I've been matching for speed now. I'm still matching, but I've got the extra magic protection, so I'm actually able to fully withstand it when I get my arm up there. The Bam! Up. She, like, gets turned aside by your defense um, and goes like... Sort of, like, withdraws a little bit. Uh, number three her, uh, watches Obsidian run and goes, You can't escape! You can't escape! And can reach you 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and blocks your path. No. Brings up uh, uh, the, tr the, um, the trident. That saves me a trip. <laughs> and <laughs> good way to look at it. And stabs at you. Um, this one was number three. He still hasn't got a negative to anything. Uh, that is an 18 to hit, so that's going to hit you. Yes. Worth it. Worth it. So I didn't have to run over to you. That is eight points of piercing damage. Oh, maybe not worth it. Oh, that undoes a chunk of the healing I just... Ow. Just runs you through and like you're now teetering on this narrow ledge um, the, of the wall uh -huh. and the pit. Um, and he's got this evil looking grin. Teeth missing from his gums that as he really advances hurt, on you. You idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Uh, is desperately going to. He's going to provoke an attack opportunity from Silaster and Ansel. Oh, take Ansel. him down, boys. Take him down. 16. That's a hit. Eight points of damage. No. Uh, Ansel? 12. I think that's a miss. Is that including plus two with the flank? It is, yeah. It's a miss. Um, takes 
some kind of potion. Fuck. Is he healing? Only we're allowed to do that, you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. That was his turn. No, no, that's just his swift action. He can do more than that. He's going to attack Silaster. 22. And he's at minus four. Bang! He's at minus four, yes. Um, <laughs> nothing. But, but he was trying to make that nothing as a, as a clue to what he just did. Um, uh, okay, we're back to Obsidian. Well, I guess I'll just try and touch the dude in front of me. Um, entirely appropriately, of course. <laughs> touch AC. 13 on his touch AC. It's a hit. Lovely. He'll take a further. Oh, he took two last time, takes three this time. Building up. Yeah. Well, he took eight the first time. He takes three points of negative energy damage. I'm, I'm desperately trying to pull his, sp his spirit out of him. Uh, this one, ah, this one didn't take eight last time. Um, I did, didn't he? He was the one I could reach. The other one's in the water. No, that's... Uh, oh, no, you're absolutely right. Yep, you're absolutely right. The one in right. front of me took two and then took time before. No, you're absolutely right. Which means, how do you kill him? Oh, no shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, exactly as I said. I've been trying, and with the two, I tried, like, sort of pulled a little bit of his spirit out, and he pulled it back in. And then this time, I'm like, no, and I grab his face, and I just pull the spirit out of him! And it actually finally comes out. Oh, my God. With my crappy three points of damage. Amazing. Silasta. Another ghost oh, for your collection. Is there anything else you want to do in your turn, Obsidian? That yeah, that's how I just say that to him. Just another spirit for your collection. Nice. Silasta. Ooh. Uh, I just, because we had the corner of my eye, the guy taking the potion, so I backhanded him. <laughs> uh, and as I've done this, uh, I then kind of corkscrew my body round to get a, a kind of a jumping kick to... Uh, the snake's head for oh, yes. let's see. 28. Oh, oh it is a sma it's a definitely a amazing hit. Two point Bam. It's actually soul destroying, isn't it? <sighs> it gives a low de deadly hiss as you kick it in the head. Um definitely not happy with what's going on. Ansel. Uh, yeah, Ansel's gonna swing the scythe again. Plus two for flanking. Mm -hmm. 22 to hit. It is a hit. Uh, three points of death. <laughs> All of us. Wow. That's bad. That's bad. Mm. Yeah, it goes, ah, and staggers like barely breathing. But still going. Uh, anything else in your turn, Ansel? Uh, no. Fai fails his swim check and begins to fall under the water. <laughs> Is he going to drown? Please. He's got minus six to everything, likely, yes. Very slowly drown. Um... So, we're back to the top of the round. Varati is, is uh, looking at the snake with a little bit of concern. Um, Anemone is going to strike out at Silasta. 22. Snaps. Uh, it's like a door slamming in your face, like the sound of it. Boom! But um, is just in front of your face as you just step back at the last second. That just narrowly missed you that time. Um, that was Anemone. It is now three is gone. Number four. The one in the middle desperately tries to attack Ansel. He's at minus four to attack. 16 AC. You parry him. Obsidian, it's your turn. Lovely. Okay, so first and foremost, as a swift action, I will quaff another Persion. Mm -hmm. Because this is desperately needed. Come on. Oh, I think I've accidentally turned on 3D dice. So it wouldn't work straight away. I'm going to turn that off. Oops. Ooh, how the hell has that happened? It wouldn't roll straight away. Okay, so that's nine. 
No, you take the potion. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So six. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Sorry. My brain failed me. Uh, so that's uh, swift, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. Touch tap. By all means. 22 on his touch AC. Oh, you rush up to him and grab hold and touch him. Lovely. Okay, that's that's the kind of roll we're after. And seven points of negative energy right. damage ah. to person. Untouched up until now. Yeah. He is... Uh... Literally, I just run up to him and yeah. just... Uh, uh, the side of his face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's a uh, face rape. <laughs> oh, oh no! Arr! You get your mitts off me! Uh, amazing. Anything else on your turn, Obsidian? No, that's me. Uh, Silaster's turn. It's uh, Mano E. Snakeo. Mano E. Snakeo. 17 to hit. Uh, it's a hit. Four points of damage. God. Oh, oh god. god. You're like Jennifer Lopez Ooh. in the film Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> weird reference, for sure. <laughs> I feel that weird. Okay, right, yeah. Smacks the snake. The snake sort of looks a little bit woozy after that one, but uh, he's still going. Ah. <laughs> like you're literally bloodied. <laughs> like having a punching a snake in the, the snake. face. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to think about. Um, three stared. Four is still alive somehow. Is just desperately gonna try and kill Ansel in whatever way he can. At a minus four to his AC, possibly a fumble. It's a fumble. He's on the ground. Oh! He swings for you wildly, and you drop him to the floor again. I'm sorry, you drop him to the floor you, like you did the other guy. He falls to the ground. Obsidian, it's your turn. Did Silas to go and I? Yeah, I was going to say, it can't yeah, be my uh, turn. I've only just gone. Haven't I? It's Ansel's turn, then, isn't it? Wait, hang on. How have I done that? He's gone. I think maybe you just skipped Ansel's or. I might have just skipped Ansel, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, because Silas, right. didn't you. No, the snake I just went. Punched the snake. For... Yeah, it'd be a different turn for me because I've been. I did him damage and he's not been. Since he he definitely will go before I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit him, Silaster. Not that I want. So him it to, is. But... <laughs> yeah, Silaster hit the snake. I do apologise. It's now Ansel's turn. Sorry. That's right. We'll um, just count right, that as yeah. his turn. He's yeah. on the ground. Dude, I think you you've got so much to keep track of <laughs> with all of yeah. the legs and everything. It's entirely fine. My, this sheet is a mess. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Oh, but oh, actually, I can imagine. <laughs> Uh, 24 to hit the guy. The Absolutely, and he's on the ground. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. Four points. It doesn't matter oh. because attrition is inevitable. How do you <laughs> kill him? <laughs> With a thousand cuts. Um, so he swings it overhead and... Uh, to begin with, the guy thinks he's missed because it's just like, it's landed here and then he's like, oh no, that's connect That's connected. <laughs> and slits his throat on the way back out. And then just to try and help out. Sorry, is gonna be... Yeah, boy. Okay. Five. Uh, let's see if he can match another swim check. At minus six. No, he is drowning. Officially drowning. <laughs> 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 What's it with all these grim, slow deaths in all of the fights we're doing lately? It's so amazing. I'm sorry. Look, look it's it's how me and Matt have built our character. Yeah, mate, we are grim. It's we it. are back to the top. Silas is like a quick in in the killer, but we're. we're attrition. Mm, I will thank you slowly <laughs> and I will enjoy it. Um. Baratis uh, looks at you with a smile, having you you've just like sma slammed him with some negative energy. Um, you he doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity because he is going to just take a free five foot step. 
to here, to the site, to the steps here. Mm-hmm. And he draws his cutlass and he says, Where do you think he learned that trick from me? <laughs> What's your touch armor class? Eleven. Uh, you give a cry as a net flies into your face. <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> not like this. Not like this. No. And entangles you and he goes, Ah, I got you now, you wee landlubber. Help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like poetry, it rhymes. <laughs> um, no. Varati is has ensnared <laughs> a, a, a obsidian. I found my one weakness. <laughs> Oh, oh god, only two of them had nets as well. <laughs> You've got against both of them. <laughs> okay. Um That was Varati's Anamoni um This is some bullshit, right? <laughs> Anamoni I think is gonna keep going for Silasta. It makes sense for her to keep trying to go for you because Ansel hasn't hit you in such a long time, so I do apologize, Silasta, but it just makes sense. That's fine. Twenty two. What is she on? She's on... No. She's just got a minus to strength. That is a miss. She snaps at you once again. She, her, She's rolling like shit now. Uh, and she's um, clearly tiring from the battle. Like, swipes at you again. Um, but you were able to move aside as she strikes forth. It is now Obsidian's turn. You are at minus two to tax uh... and minus four to dexterity. Right. Minus two to attacks and minus four to dexterity. Um, Do they stack with each other, those things? I guess, yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually on minus then, because my attacks are always dexterity based because they're touch. Yeah. Right? Well, uh, are touch attacks dexterity? So minus two, so it would be on zero. Um, range yeah. are. Yeah, range touches. Actual touches, unless you've got weapon finesse. No, uh, it's just a. Not touch. You're not, you're not putting any force into it. You're just trying to touch them. So, of course, it's Well, if you want to take more negatives to it, then be my guest. Well, I mean, I don't want to, but I also don't want to say that my attacks are based on strength. In I, future, thought, because... I thought melee t- I thought melee touch attacks are just a normal attack, and a ranged touch is a dex attack. That's how I well, don't thought see it. why a touch would involve strength. Well, to try neither and do I, someone. but that's just, I think, how. I don't know. I don't know. That's I don't another know. rule we'll be looking up afterwards. Yeah, uh, we'll be looking up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure touch is always uh, uh, right. Well, if it stacks, there's no point in me trying to do anything to him because I can't touch him really. Uh, it's such a fatalist attitude. Well, I, I I've got nothing. When the <laughs> I can't escape it. I'm not strong. Uh, I can move, right? Like it's just. You can move move at half speed, but he's currently holding the rope so he can stop you from moving away. You can't get 10 feet away from him unless um, unless you beat him. I don't want to get away from him. I just want to hop once towards him (laughs) and then try and touch him. (laughs) Yeah, by all means. Uh, So it's a minus two and then a minus two to dexterity puts me on a zero. So it's going to be. Take off the two and then take off the thing. So it's just a, it's a flat D20 on mm-hmm. his touch. Yep. <laughs> no. Like you try and reach through the net and he just like, just pushes you like that. Goes, ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, pushes you away and um, yeah, stops you from grabbing onto him or touching well, him in any way. Silasta, but... it's your turn. Oh. I mean, I've seen what's happened here, but right now I'm like, gotta deal with this snake uh, <laughs> this running snake it's like but this I can... <laughs> Ansel has provided me an opening and I'm hoping that I'm like right I'll use this exploit it yep. oh. is that I with mean... the plus two to flank yeah oh my god yeah that's a miss that's it for the moment And so it's your turn. Um, is it a slop as if I do this? Don't care. I mean, cool. probably. Who um, cares right now? 
No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because no one can hit anything or do any damage to anything. That's just the game we're playing. <laughs> um, yeah, you swing it as well, and this lithe snake has enough wits about it to prevent you, you from killing him. Uh, killing her, sorry. Uh, man, swim check. That is a fail. That was his penultimate check. Uh, I don't think he's going to get any. Yeah, he is officially just under the water. Bubbles. Thick and fast. Oh dear. Uh, so yeah, minus four of the decks, whatever that does to your AC, Obsidian, if that has any change at all. Uh, well, yeah, it will, won't it? Because minus four to Dexterity takes me down to minus one on my deck, so it takes one off of my armor class. Okay. So 14. Yeah, he hits you, slams you with this uh, gleaming cutlass. It cuts through you. Um, yeah, let's do some damage. Uh, what type of damage is it, please? That's a very good question. That'll be slashing damage. Is it magic? Um, no, it is not magic. It is a masterwork, but I don't think that right. matters. No. It's no. nice, but not magic. Yes, it is nice. Uh, <laughs> he strikes you. That's the wrong nice. Or ten points of slashing damage. Ow! <sighs> Bums. <laughs> and like Ow. he's got the rope with one hand, uh, and that with the other, and you know he's gonna. Oh no. <laughs> it's just the Darren Brown bit with the the woman in the sack. <laughs> I just boots her over the head. Off you go. Off you go. Off in you go. go. Um uh, Yeah, there's that. no reason why he wouldn't, so he, he can just he can use that he can still do it. Uh a post strength roll, please, Obsidian. Not enough. In the drink you go. You plunge in. Okay. Splash. Glub, glub. Water tastes good. And he goes, ah, <laughs> as he stares down at you in the water. Um, that is his turn. Anemone is desperately going to swipe at you. Silaster. Oh, 22. Possibly a critical. Uh, not a critical. It's a hit. Uh, that is three points of piercing damage. Uh, grapple check, please. Oppose strength. Oh, 18. You beat it. Tries to vibe with its vice like jaws. Tries to drag you into the grapple. Is unable to. And that was Anamone's turn. Obsidian. <sighs> Roll a swim check for me, please. Well, rub a dub dub. I will, I will. Uh, so my strength, my swim is on minus one, but I'm minus what for skills or whatever. Uh, minus. Am I minus anything else? You said minus net? two last time, didn't you? Yeah, minus two. Yep. <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah, you're able to keep yourself afloat. There's no Once again, <laughs> Obsidian panic swims. <laughs> but he's holding you, so you can't go anywhere. You're just able to keep yourself afloat. Uh, uh, well, I don't want to go anywhere far away from him. I want to be getting closer to him. Would you allow me an attempt to climb to get out? Um, you absolutely can. I, I, I mean, I, I think that's going to be... You've got to climb. He's got you at 10 feet on the rope. You're in the water. Yeah, minus two to a climb check. Unless... <laughs> I mean, could I have an opposed strength? This is going to be an absolute... Yeah, to try to, and like, pull him try in. And, yeah, yeah, try definitely. and pull him in the water. Definitely, yeah. Uh, it's useless because I'm terrible. I'm not strong at all, but... Um... You never know. Everyone rolls a one sometimes. Everyone rolls a one sometimes. <laughs> it's a nine. I'm like... <laughs> 
please. I sacrifice my climb to do a nine and try and pull him in. <laughs> How did you pull Varatis into the water with you? No way. Um, <laughs> that was a one. Um, <laughs> that I mean, was a yeah. one. I swear, I swear, I, think, I swear. I'm, I think it's almost by accident because I'm scrambling so much. I just wrap myself too much in the rope. <laughs> and he's not expecting me to pull because I don't look like I'm trying to pull. I'm just panic scrambling and it just tugs the rope and he falls in next He to goes, Ah, oh, you bleeding shit! <laughs> and he falls in with you. Yeah. <laughs> Falls in with you. Um, that gleaming blue medallion uh -huh. upon him, gleaming and as he slams he into the water. Now prey to my panic. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to save me. Uh, okay, um, that was <laughs> incredible. Obsidian, that was your turn, Silaster. Uh, Silaster's hoping he can. He's like, I've got to get over there, but I've got a snake to deal with. Fuck it. 21 to hit. Is a hit. Eight damage on the snake. Silasta, so, how do you kill the snake? Oh. Um. Oh, it had lunged at me. It had hit me. Yeah. But that was its undoing because it extended its neck too far. And although it hit me, I was able to get kind of my offhand just back enough to deliver a resounding uppercut to its uh, head. I feel something break slightly, but not much, but enough that I can hear it. Okay, it's down. Uh, and with that, I will move 5, 10, 15, giving Ansel a pat on the shoulder as I move. So I'm going to literally run, quick pat, 20, 25, 30, if I get to there. Yeah, you rush over. Uh, the uh, Anamone just obliterated her body, uncurling as like hits the ground, black blood spraying everywhere, covering the cave, and then it slips back into the water, uh, defeated after a long life of menace and greed. Um, amazing turn, Ansel. It's your turn. Uh, yeah, Ansel's gonna move over here, and then he's going to uh. Make uh, that guy's life a hell. Um, sickening blast. Okay, on his touch, go ahead. Okay. Uh, 22. Yeah, easy hit on the touch. Uh, two points of damage, and he needs to do a fortitude save or be sickened. Fortitude save of? 15. 15 on the die, he passes. Shit, I'm going to curse him. Okay. That was two My points of damage, sorry, today. was it? Um... It was two points of damage, yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll save DC 15. That's a fail. He is cursed. Oh, oh. So a minus two to ax attack saves checks weapon damage. Very good. Uh, five. The bubbles stop. <laughs> oh... Baratis is in front of you in the water, Obsidian, um, and you see him sort of like, like glaring at you through the water and the, and the foam and the spray. Um, you see Silaster has appeared on the edge of the pit, so as Ansel, Ansel hits him with a curse and he goes, Ah, you curse me! Um, and, uh, and then he looks into your eyes, Obsidian, and he says, but I am one with the sea. And that amulet, gleaming blue, now gives a flash. Oh no. And all that remains is his pirate hat that floats to the surface as Varates disappears into the water and vanishes completely. Oh no. Our that... bounty! Is Shit. the end of the battle. Oh my dear god. You mysterious prick. <laughs> oh. oh, our bounty. Take well, we killed. Happened. We literally. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That was all they wanted. They wanted evidence. Yes! 
he's dead. But then he'll show up, and then we'll be proved the liars. And <sighs> I mean, to be fair, we're only a little bit liars. We did take care of all the other sea snakes. Like, look at all the dead people. You well, there'll be no raiding from the sea snakes for a while. Um, but anywho, yeah. just before we continue, help! Uh, oh, yeah. Do a swim check, and these obsidian. He's going to dip his. Well, uh... Scythe if you wouldn't in. mind, just put... Hey! Check out my ultimate swimming technique! I will not... Don't... Uh, he's very good at swimming. I will so not... The uh, walks around... Just whilst... pull the rope, guys. Just pull the rope. Whilst Combined, quaffing... you can pull me out. Uh, we've not got the rope. I will... I mean, I can throw on the rope, right? That's a natural plan. <laughs> Here! Help! With that, I, I think hold, you can. I, yeah, you're right. I hold the end of the rope up at least. <laughs> to get the, grab it. Together, you can pull Obsidian out, uh, and Obsidian is also able to help with that excellent roll. Uh, he kicks and really hard. My mask <laughs> and loads of water just tips back out of the beak. Oh. <laughs> Um, congratulations. Uh, the battle is yours. Once again, I did not foresee that taking as long as I thought. I guess you just aren't really damage dealers, are you, really? Like, when I come to think of it? Uh, well, yeah. because I haven't slept. If I'd slept, that would have been a shorter battle from my perspective, because I would have had more options as yes. to actually taking people out. And if I didn't get panicked in getting grappled i could have taken a round just to get my maneuvers back but i got kind of caught in that and i was like no i've got to yeah. i can't remove myself because otherwise ansel or obsidian would have just got swamped i just didn't really have access to any of the cool stuff that i get with my level up <laughs> so i was essentially the same level as last time even though i've leveled up yeah. <sighs> yeah, and ansel's just not a damage dealer he's a debuffer no absolutely no i'm not criticizing him just it's just a pattern emerging i'm noticing that i'm like right got okay there. But um, there in the end. it is definitely Oops. a battles of attrition for you guys, which fair enough. That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, they, they're a silence has fallen. Um, you could just take a second to reflect on that. I mean, you have just taken out an entire pirate crew, minus and not one. a small pirate crew, minus one, and a giant snake. Well, a huge, uh, a large monstrous it's constrictor large. snake it was a large it snake, was a large snake. Oh, i'd um, call that giant <laughs> <laughs> we would call giant. that giant definitely um yeah anemone uh now uh lies at the bottom of the uh what its remains of her lies at the bottom of the pool uh her dark blood will there will curse its place forever um congratulations uh there are two chests that lie before you um so uh, there is one that has established loot in there that I've rolled previously, and then there's some random okay. stuff in the other chest. So which would you prefer to do first? Random or assigned oh, let's have, loot? Let's have the assigned loot first. Oh, I was going to say yeah. random. You want to do random loot oh. first? Yeah, because it could be really average, and then what Rob's picked out could be... Okay. okay. What I picked then, out is then. pretty good. It's all right. Okay, let's, let's uh, do random loot on first. on theme with what's in there. Okay, let's uh, let's bring up the. I haven't actually brought it up. Stupidly, I... who took the javelin? By the way, that plus what? That was Ansel, wasn't it? The harpoon, yeah. The harpoon and the scroll of knock went to yeah. Obsidian. No, Ansel. No, you Ansel's got, got that as well. Yeah. yeah, can't use it yet, but cast. eventually, maybe. All right. Mm. Uh, who who finds this going first? I uh not sure I earned it. <laughs> you I think go we first. All did. I think you, we all you go first. Yeah, I, I was all right. I did. I actually you did, did some good badly. swimming with the, the guys from outside. I did some amazing swimming. It was all panic. Uh, Do you know how yeah, so... carefully <laughs> I've got to dry this leather now? Oh my god. Fifty-three. <laughs> got to get some wax. Treat it. Oh. Fifty-three. Okay, hang on. Come on, load. There we go. Right. Do we know um, what page it was again? 260 something, wasn't it? 268? I keep getting this wrong, but. I thought it was five. No oh, idea. Depends what table you Yes, use. it I was. You guys use a 265. Table. All right, there we go. 
I make a note. 265, 265. Well, I was hoping it would load on it, but it didn't. Remember okay, Rezik. sorry. What did you say, Michael? What was Remember the number? Remember Rezik. 53. 53. Okay, you've got a potion of resist energy. Oh, um, does it say what type? Or? No, so we'll, I guess we'll just roll for it then. So, um, rather helpfully, it doesn't give me all the energy types. Let's just say one is fire, two is ice, three is electricity, four is sonic. Acid. Oh. Uh, five is, sorry, five is, sorry, four is acid, five is sonic. Uh, uh, bear with me. Four slash uh, 1d5. Fire. Yep, so uh, a potion of fire, uh, energy... What was, did I say? It was energy resistance. Potion of uh, fire resist. Um, did yeah. you give a number? Resist energy, five. Five. Okay. We can look up the duration later. Yeah, we can sort that out later. Yeah. Um, who wants to go next? In order... Obsidian. Just roll it and read it out because I, I don't want to keep jumping back and forth. <laughs> Three! In keeping Three. with my high dice rolls for the session. Oh, okay. Um, Obsidian, you pull forth a a wand. It is a wand uh, of detect magic. Ten charges. Okay. Uh, you need to use a magic device, right? To use a wand? I think you do, yeah. yeah Unless you've got that spell. No, Unless you have that spell. Do. I do not get to tank magic, but uh. Damn. One. Wand of. And finally, for the random, Ansel. Uh. 42. Ooh, okay. You get a daylight pellet. A daylight pellet. So I think you throw it and daylight erupts from it. I'm fairly yeah, sure. We'll look it up. Uh, we'll look it up. But yeah, a daylight pellet. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, and inside there's also uh, three cure moderate wounds potions as well. Oh, cure mod one each. Always three there are. Uh -huh. hmm. mm. And in the so other chest. Some sort of conspiracy. <laughs> and in the other chest. Um, first of all, you pull out um, a thick pair of pristinely made leather boots. Uh, go almost up to the knee, exquisitely made. Uh, you get boots of jumping, plus five to jump when wearing them. Oh, Silasta! I'm already wearing boots. Oh yeah, that you do a similar thing. Um, oh really? So... <laughs> what? Wow! Just Silasta. What? What level? If you were to level yourself, as far as you know, <laughs> if you want to sort of praise your abilities, like, what? you were to like you imagine that you were a character in a game. What level would you say? Eighteen? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, I yeah. Ansel, do you want that? I mean, I don't know. Well, then why don't we get everything? Yeah, let's keep it for now, rather than. Deciding who gets what straight away. Okay. Have we got shared loot? I'm making a note. Cool. I think we should have an actual document that you can all access. That's a good idea. So one of you, get out on it. Um, let's see what's next. There's an amulet. Uh, appears to be made of gold, actually. Um, but... It is kind of almost made out of gold scales, and it forms like a circle, and it has a gleaming red um, shield in its heart that you think has been made out of a ruby. Um, it is an amulet of natural armor, plus one. Uh, uh, ooh. And 
because it's natural okay. armor, that means that that doesn't. It stacks with armor. It doesn't do yeah. deflection or armor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's good. So that okay. is one for debate. Mm -hmm. Inside, you find a terrifying looking mask. Um, whoever decides who wants this can decide what they want it to be of. But uh, it is a mask of dread. And it provides plus five to intimidate. Oh, man. But I'm already wearing a mask. You are already wearing a, a mask. Um, like we I could... say, because you obviously want to cater it to, to the way you look like, it could be of your whatever you describe, but perhaps someone else wants it. Who knows? But there is a mask of dread plus five to intimidate. Um, I mean, my intimidate mm -hmm. is is quite high. It's quite it's one of my good skills. So is it well, best to have that be really good? I mean it's what I uh, it's one of the things my character uses in uh, like Do you want to take the mask then? It's twelve. But yeah, but I don't know whether then because like I'm gonna wear it underneath my own mask. I don't want to give up my well, no, Unless the you... terrifying mask looks similar to a plague doctor's mask. That's what he's saying. You can make it look like a plague doctor's mask. That's part you of could the... you could make it look however you want. I mean, maybe it's slightly I mean, different to your current mask, but it can look however you want. Basically, it could be of another bird, or <laughs> it looks like a woodpecker. We'll 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 think about it. We'll think about it for now. That leaves us with two. Uh, sorry, three items technically. Mm. Uh, one is what looks to be at first glance um, nothing. Looks like rubbish. Looks like something that someone has drunk from a vial and thrown it away. Nice. However, you note that there is a magical seal over the top of this bottle. This is a bottle of air. And for whoever basically has it and use it, there's an infinite supply of air in the bottle. That would have been useful to that poor chap over there. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's probably in poor taste. So uh, ma magically generates oxygen that one person can use. It can be passed to other people, naturally. But, uh, yeah, you basically have, like, a permanent supply of air from that bottle. Noish. For that underwater level that's coming up. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> would I... Basically I hate running them as much as uh, yeah, yeah, one of those things. Um, there is also uh, a small container in this box that holds a small choice item of jewellery. A ring that looks in the likeness of a serpent eating its own tail. Oh. Um... It uh, has an ornate black gem at its heart. This is a minor ring of spell storing, and it can hold one level one spell in it. Oh, uh, so that means you put a spell into it, and it stays in there, and you can use it anytime you use like. It whenever you want. On top of your own mm -hmm. spells. I mean, that'd be yeah, that'd be quite handy. So, yeah, minor ring of spell spells. storing, level one. I think I've got to get to Obsidian, really. <clears throat> I, think. I was going to say, let's, well, we can go through all of it once we... Yeah. And then finally, you note that this lining of this chest is pretty deep, and you sort of like reach your hand in, and actually it keeps going. And then realise that it isn't the lining of a chest at all. Someone has actually put a bag of holding and sewn it into this chest. You can oh. unfold it. You now have a bag of holding as well. Hey. And that is what you get from the loots. Um, from each of the uh, sea snakes proper who are in this area. In this area we're certainly going to be searching everything. Yeah, so you... Yeah, look, I mean, there is effectively... Masterwork scimitar. There is um No, both the nets were destroyed. Damn. <laughs> the I use my weakness against them. Uh there is a masterwork halberd. Uh and 
you note at the bottom, gleaming at the the bottom of this uh, murky pool, is uh, the scimitar. Sorry, not the scimitar, the cutlass, which is a scimitar, uh, masterwork scimitar of Verates as well. Uh, and let's see how much gold they had amongst them. That'll all just be lobbed in the bag, I think, so I can't use There's those two masterwork weapons scimitar, anyway. There's two masterwork so. halberd, yep. Verates tricorn hat. Oh, yes. He will yeah. flog with, it. With, with oh. insone wig. Don't forget it the will all be flogged. And the gold. Wow. Fantastic. So in addition to that, there is 1,500 gold pieces in there as well. Ooh. Ooh. So when he said he could pay us 3,000, he was bullshit. He was. How much was that, sorry? 1,500. 1, so 500 each. 500 each. B. Oh, I have 666 gold pieces. How 642. Oh. Oh, <laughs> very nice. How very Halloween-y. Well done. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Well done, well done. <sighs> right. Um, well then. Yeah. Very briefly, just to kind of go through some of the bits we know we can do. Uh, wand of Detect Magic to Ansel. Eventually you'll be able to use it. Yes. Um, the Ring of Spell Storing, straight to Obsidian. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone else can get from that. Crossing that off, crossing that off. Put those on your thing. Bag of holding, I'm just going to say that goes to the group loot page. Yeah. It's not going to be used in combat, is it? Is yeah. It? Uh, terrifying Musk, of, you know, I don't really need Intimidate. I, I am not charismatic in the slightest. So, uh, I have no. 12 <laughs> Intimidate, basically, because Charisma is my key stat. Uh, and I get certain fear auras and stuff as we go on. You can have it then. I have a relatively high. Yeah. Level, I don't use it particularly. I think I'll probably do something where it's like a really blank mask and I'll just fit it into the one that I've got. <laughs> so it just fits yeah. on the face. Okay, I'm crossing that off the list because you're taking that. Um, the leather boots of jumping. Okay, mine are agile boots of leaping, which means I use dex instead of strength. And if I fall prone, because I've got enough ranks in balance, I can stand up as a swift action. So I don't particularly want to get rid of my boots because they're pretty nifty. Um, but if one of you two are not wearing boots, take them because that's a nice plus five to jump. Uh, um, I would say Ansel's probably more mobile than me anyway, so... Yeah. Certainly needs to get in with melee and whatever. Uh, from now, after I rest, I will no longer need to move around anywhere near as much anyway. <laughs> I will cool. be mobile without moving. So. I'll cross those off the list. Um, plus five to jump, is that right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to put the daylight pellet in the bag of holding, the yeah. potion of resist fire in the bag of holding. I will type this up tomorrow. Uh, the bottle of air I'll put in the bag of holding. Um, so lastly, amulet of natural armor. I mean, I've I've got the largest armor class here, so I don't mind if one of you guys want to take it. Uh, my AC is fifteen. You should take it, and I've got AC sixteen. It's much of a muchness, isn't it? Also, I have a tiny amount of damage reduction. And as I say, I'm going to try and stay way back from combat from now on anyway. So I think okay. I actually well, think I not gonna be... should have it. Yeah, well, yeah, because you're, you're yes. still more melee based. It's better for one of us to have an even higher armor class than, than things to balance out. If I, I need to stay out of the way anyway. So I think you should have it. Okay, well, what does that do? Plus one natural. Plus one. Noise. Uh, I'll type up the uh, the loot page with two masterwork scimitars and the masterwork halberd later. Lovely. Very good. Um, yeah, so you gather all this loot together, you conspire as to who should bear what um, what prize you estimate that this must have been taken from some other Hauled, or perhaps another pirate vessel, perhaps. Um, yeah, and taking your loot and taking the mark to show that you have defeated the sea snake, um, you've punched the sea snake's head off, as in 
Anamone's head, so you could take that as a tribute as well, perhaps. Um, it's in the bag of holding. There we go. Yeah. So the, Good the head. Not trying to tell you what to do, but I mean, it's an option, isn't it? No, it's, I mean... Yeah, as we said, her head was punched off. Like It makes just makes sense, doesn't it? Punched off. <laughs> um, oh, Anamone's <laughs> head. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> So Dude, what we're going to do, we're not going to, we're not, gonna, we're just going to wrap up here because I think it would be pretty cool for us to get to a specific point on the map for us to continue next time. Mm. So we will continue on the journey. I foolishly didn't bring my diary down with me to mark the days of travel. I shall have to do it afterwards. But let's go to the, to the, to the map very quickly just to see where we're at. So you will arrive. Oh, that's the wrong one. So ordinarily, it would take you five days to get there. But we realized with your horse and cart, it would take you four. So that would give you basically the day to be ready for the night of meeting the uh for the meeting on the roof of the bronze banner should you still wish to cool interrupt that or spy and on we it were or whatever you want to do yeah. yeah yeah so you were um oh i'm zooming in and out all over the shop let's just move this map out there we are yeah so you're in the barbed way so you will get there the day of that happening in the evening okay Cool. That is providing no interruptions occur, which we will learn <laughs> now, because I think that will be a fun way to end the session. So, one, two, three, four, four rolls. Uh, okay. The second night of travel, um, I need you <laughs> to roll a what is it, Silasta? So we get one night of rest. Yes, you've rested. Okay. Yes! <laughs> and also... Hang on, so... And then I'm gonna... I mean, after the battle will have ended... I will have done that. Yeah, that's good. Little potion there. Mm -hmm. I need you all... Remember, you get your health back, so... We well, you get your level in health back. Yeah, you get your so level in health back. I'm still not in f at full, even after taking a potion and sleeping. But that's okay. I am yeah. bearing the we wounds play, of battle. Uh, we play a much crueler game here on Roll the Bones. Um, so, I need you each to do a listen check for me, please. Not a massively high DC... Eleven. Twenty-four. Oh, that should have been eleven for me. Oh, no, twelve, sorry. So, Lassie, you're the first person to snap to uh, you from your meditations. And because you'd be at camp, we will load a camp map, just so you know what your position is. It's a really camp map. It's a very camp map. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do an impression. I... <laughs> was quite I, d I was like <laughs> don't be offensive <laughs> so as you can I, I would like to draw your attention to the very nice meditation cushion that I've given Silaster because Thank he doesn't you. sleep it's a lovely cushion. <laughs> uh, you'll notice Obsidian has a jet black sleeping bag yes uh, thank you very much and so quite right like a, 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 a just a grey blanket or something uh, Silaster you jump to immediately a little bit later followed by Ansel and it is at this point uh, that the, the trees and the, or rather the bushes at the foot of this copse that you're resting in begins to rustle as two brilliant white eyes open in the darkness and you can see a long toothy white smile a crescent of teeth and that is where we're going to leave our heroes tonight. Glorious. So, um, 
Thank you ever so much for watching uh, uh, live and after the fact. That battle was a slog. We're going to need to whip through some combats to see if we can... <laughs> if we can uh, if we can speed things up a bit yeah <laughs> um but no I, I mean obviously my own doing uh a big challenge but a big challenge that you were amazing against you surpassed i'm surprised that snake i was pretty sure was gonna was gonna kill you um <laughs> <laughs> so, like when I, when I when when we started the fight, I was like, "Oh God, yeah, this is quite <laughs> that is quite a strong monster to put against you," uh, along with Varatis and the low lives and everything else. So anyway, with all that yeah. said, um, thank you ever so much to my wonderful players for being such wonderful sports as always, and to you watching live and after the fact, thank you ever so much for watching and Thanks so have long. a spoopy Halloween. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. My dearest friends, Ooh. goodbye. That took ages! <laughs> <laughs>